hair is not on point. A little bit of somb. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday. Can we get Oya number five? No. What What is a good Oya for Friday? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Oya seven is a Friday one. Tarumi Kairon, thanks for being a 20 monther. Kyle joins the Survey Corps. Is that a Pokemon thing? <laughs> Amish Lover, thanks for being an 18 monther. Happy Pokemon Day. No matter what happens, savor rotating the right analog stick in a Pokemon game. I hear that. Bro Tyler, thanks for being a 12 monther. Gotta catch them all. Loving the new Pokemon game so far. I've not started yet. Uh, we don't know if this will be a one-off. It will depend on how the next eight hours go. This is basically how I do full playthroughs. Is I don't usually dedicate to doing a full playthrough of a new game until we've played it and tried it out. Major Debater, thanks for being a four-monther. Ready for a heap and piles of hot takes. Casey, thanks for being an 18-monther. Today's Wordle broke my streak at nine. Damn. Uh, I was bragging about my nine streak right now earlier so i guess this was actually last night and my mom texts me back 25 my mom's on a 25 wordle streak though then because it's all i had i was mocking her for not playing on hard mode she cheats but she's still a mom and you gotta let her cheat Was the Stafford mentioned in Ram Colored Outfit intentional and delayed input? The answer is no. I got that sleeveless hoodie early, a long time ago, and basically, I'm not used to this. I plotted out, like, which clothes I'm going to wear for which episode. So, like, I've had, like, the last three or four episodes planned for some time. Um, that was coincidental. Can I get an Oya for getting a new a gold Mew from a celebrations pack? That seems like a big deal. So yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Deep one. Uh Rain it. Thanks for being a 17 mother. My wife, who never wanted a cat, saw how calm Mucho is while you play games. Now we have a kitten. Thanks, Mucho. That's crazy. But also. Mucho's a, a rare one. There's no way your kitten is that chill, right? Mucho's a rare one, bro. Look how chill he is. <laughs> uh, sneaky sweater. Thanks for the four monther. Happy Friday, everyone. Kyle, you have fuzz in your hair. Cheers. Do you just mean this? Yeah. Yeah, it's a mess. White speck. I mean, that was probably dandruff. Are you more excited about this game now that it has good reviews? Ah, uh, not too much. It's, you know... The reviewers Nintendo selected have reviewed the game so far. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it's really affected uh, my expectations. One ten. How smug do you feel adding football analogies to delayed input? I mean, I didn't think they were like analogies. I thought that was pretty broad stuff. Oh, this is just starting. There's no, there's no start menu. Are we letting Twitter know about Pokemon? Good looking out, Kirk. So I actually forgot to tweet Monday. I actually wrote it out, had it drafted, ready to click tweet, and then never click tweet. Uh, playing Pokemon Arceus, Pokemon Legends Arceus. All day today. Hoping that... Bam bam, next to being an 11 monther. Can you rank different fuzzes? No, no fuzz ranking. Um, 
You alienate all European people with Tom Brady references? Not true. Not true. I know that uh, Europeans love Tom Brady. Okay. Playing Arceus Legends, Pokemon Legends Arceus today, hoping that... I guess, like, what you would typically do if you're, like, writing my tone is you would, like, make, like, a funny, self-deprecating, offhand comment here. DRD, thanks for the 20-monther. Are we ready to eat some poke slow poke tails? Um, yeah, for sure. Hoping that this is more entertaining than eating 20 burgers. That sounds like a joke at the game's expense, but that's a good tweet so far. Something about savoring camera control? That's on brand. Can it just be that? Hoping to eat some, hoping that I get to cook up some slow poke tails. That's off brand. That's for like some Nintendo YouTuber, you know? It's pronounced Arceus. Is this for the tweet? I saw a commercial where they very deliberately said Arceus. If you use a hashtag, a little Arceus pops up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 no hashtags. Time erase, thanks for being Nate Monther. This will be, you will like a new Pokemon game someday, some way, Kyle. <laughs> Happy launch day, thanks, time erased. Uh, so I very rarely impress my niece and nephew. One thing I can do that actually impresses my niece, which I think is really funny, is type and look in a different direction. Like, focus on a thing, but also, like, be typing and, like, actually be writing what I'm thinking, but also be looking at something else. That's my, that's my talent. Okay, so if you're curious, if you're curious what an on-brand tweet is like, Playing Pokemon Legends Arceus all day today, nervously trying to think of cool names for ancient Pokemon in the back of my head the whole time. Starting now. This is how we do it. John Galicious, thanks for being a 12 monther. Congrats on the year. A Blank, thanks for being a 7 monther. Professor Pringles, thanks for being a 19 monther. Happy Friday. Stay on brand always. Thank you, Professor Pringles. I'm trying. Tremonius. God, we gotta name probably our starter. We have to name our starter Tremonius. <laughs> okay. Alright, I believe this is Arceus talking to us. Welcome to my realm. Located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that 
which humans call Arceus. This is hard for me. Killer Icon, thanks for the 19 month. They're torn between watching with you or going in fresh myself after I pick it up tomorrow. I know that feeling. It's going to get even harder. Okay. All right. I just got to stomach this, I guess. I just got to push through. <sighs> now, I wish to know thine appearance. <laughs> Maybe we might do Arceus as a girl, because I always play regular Pokemon games as a boy. Popper Man has an Oya oh yeah request? Can I get an Oya oh yeah number five because I accepted a full-time job offer today for my graduation in May? Um, now, Oya oh yeah number five is only for horny jobs, so we're just going to make an assumption here. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Three or eight? I guess we should do eight, because, like, three is, like, a uh, cover girl. What is thy name? Not Bootylicious. Thumb Blister, I think it's been a 13 monther. What is thy favorite color? <laughs> Arceus. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world. Strange to thee. <laughs> My name now, exactly. <laughs> so I like, yeah, imagine we're this being that doesn't really have a corporeal form yet. And it's just like, I am what the humans call Arceus. What are you? And you're just like, uh, Arceus. <laughs> <laughs> Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Ooh, do, is this like you have to... You have to catch them all to get to Arceus? Oh, is this Isekai? We have a cell phone. I didn't think they were gonna do it. When we first saw it, we're like, oh yeah, we're from the future. And then the more recent trailers I saw, I'm like, nah, they're actually not gonna do it. They did it. They thought the only way we could relate to this ancient time was for us to come from the future. YouTube, thanks for being a 20 monther. You hate it? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I mean, yeah, I guess we are like a kid from the future who just had our cell phone morphed by the Pokemon God. There's reason to hate that. Wake up. Oh, do wake up, won't you? Talking Pokemon? Are you alive, my girl? Ew. Wow, this game really does look bad, huh? <laughs> Holy moly, that's the first impression.
Okay. All right. Oh my god. What do you mean mean? I mean technically, what is the excuse for having the texture on his jacket look like that? Is that a true technical limitation? We should have bet on how long it would take Kyle to say something bad about this game. Then I would hold out. I would have held out. You gave me quite the shock, falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand? Come now, who in the world does that? Me, Arceus. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? Yeah. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? No. Nowhere. So you don't even know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you're able to survive? Somehow. Yes. I know it must be done. I see what's happening here. Okay, so it's... Piplup? Cyndaquil? And Rowlet. Oshawa, excuse me, no pip left. It's Oshawa, thank you. Good, good call there, chat. Really almost messed this up. Content does not mean guidelines. Oh, this happens all the time. There's, I have like some swear word hidden in one of these Pokemon names. There we go. You know what's crazy is I actually like, uh, I went in and like redid my poll so that it wouldn't be clear. I like went in and did it. Defaults, how about this? Okay. Oh boy, stand by. Yeah, look at that. I redid everything. It still has a completely clear background. I don't even know how to fix this. Other than this, of course. I should make this bigger. I just think it's strange they didn't use the Breath of the Wild engine. Uh, no. This, the, I, whatever, whatever's going to happen in this game has a lot of different needs than uh, Zelda game has. No, so I, re I had a pick. I, I knew what I would have picked, and I'll reveal it. I'll reveal it after the voting is done. Um, but I realized like I usually ditch my starter anyway. So like, why not let chat decide?
To be fair, Ring Fit used the Breath of the Wild engine. I forgot about that Golden Triforce. I absolutely forgot about that. I don't think Cyndaquil's going to be unseated. That's close. Oshawott's not close. We all know what you turn into. Oshawott's a great starter, but uh, Samurott's just a big goof. An absolute goof. All right. And Nikwil it is. Good vote in chat. Do I think the jump from 3DS was too big for Game Freak? They weren't killing it on the 3DS either. Alright, I'll tell you right now, I would have picked Rowlet. Because I've seen what they turn into. I've seen what they become, I would have picked Rowlet. But Cyndaquil? Cyndaquil, you know, I think is a great starter. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Career. Yeah. Splish splash. I'm so glad we're not picking Plish Plash. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you stumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Yeah, look at our shirt. We know what a Pokemon is. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Well, uh, these three Pokemon belong to me, mysterious creatures that they are. <laughs> oh, yes. And what might your name be? Arceus. Oh, <laughs> So you're called Arceus. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Leventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as the... Oh, no, no, oh, no. Oh, Blast and Bava. My darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Boop, 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 boop. Fight you three way. He didn't catch those Pokemon. Those aren't his. They hate you, bro. <laughs> uh, this kid's run is really funny. Uh, it is a good, like, childlike run. I think it's good. The game's performance is questionable. This is cool, though, dude. This is pretty cool. Um, I wonder if upper left is the right corner for me to be in. For now, we'll keep it there. Hold ZL for first person. Oh, that's nice. That's a good tip. Matt Mithril, thanks for the 13 monther. There's a glowing, beeping object over there. Oh my god, what did you do to my phone, Arceus? <laughs> I made it cooler. <laughs> it's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone <laughs> and thy mission seek out all Pokemon. <laughs> 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 
Okay. Man, I wonder what would happen if I never picked that up. God of branding. Alas, yet another miss. Aha! I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways, my little runaway, by tossing some Pokeballs their way. But I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about the three three first. Now that one's Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. <laughs> Crew! That one over there is a Cyndaquil! Chat picked it! Phew! And alas, that's Oshawott. Overdesigned and its final evolution is just the worst. One of the worst of all time. Plish plash. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. <laughs> there you are, my girl. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. Okay. Wow, I love that art. It is very Zelda-like. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures, have I not? What's so strange about them, you ask? No, I didn't ask that. Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. <laughs> you know what? Very few Pokemon games actually acknowledge how weird it is that Pokemon can shrink. So I don't mind that. Who picked Arceus on Fantasy Critic? Don. Good pick, Don. I wasn't brave enough. I definitely was too scared. I think the, I think the scores will go down in the next week. Um, Elevan Words. Thanks for being a 20-monther. Over under on Pokemon doing NFTs at some point in the near future. I'll take the under. Doesn't this go a step against established lore in the Celebi movie? Unfortunately, movie's got its own other lore. And I think even the movies are non-canon connected to each other. Except for the two Mewtwo movies. But then they like did a remake of the Mewtwo movie. It's the it's tough. It's tough. Card game lore is the true canon. I'm with you there. <laughs> I want the one with Impestor, imp Imposter Professor Oak. You keep missing Debbie. Chat's popping off. We're playing Pokemon. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed Debbie. I think Don was just a guess. No one picked it in your league. Oh, okay. Yeah, no one picked this up. It was too risky. It was too risky. Dark Shippy Doos. Thanks for being a 19 monther. Hey Kyle, I was watching a video essay on YouTube and it used the song I don't give a fuck. Somebody told me that. That uh this track. I don't give a fuck. What? That that track is like gets used the uh instrumental version. At like a arena. I'm nervous. Debbie's about to do something. Oh.
This is a suspenseful Debbie clip. What's going through her mind? Nothing happened. <laughs> Kladinsky, that was just a con that was 48 seconds of one concerned Debbie. <laughs> Uh, Weez guy, I missed you. Thanks for the two monther. I love a two monther. Sometimes we need concern. Okay, all right. Will you name your first mon Debbie? Not ancient enough. No. They're one of them at a Pokemon. What? The Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the bowl, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch all three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though, far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. This guy can't throw. Did I say- did I see EZA's Goaty Awards? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Easy Allies picked Returnal. Game of the Year. Good pick. Honestly, that was kind of fun. 8D Rumble. Unfortunately, I'm using my 8-bit dough today. So it, while it does have rumble, it's not going to feel like a pro controller. What happens if you throw away all Pokeballs? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I wish I tried that. I'm so sorry I didn't see that. We should have seen what happens if you do that. You can still try it. But now we have one Pokemon, and the game doesn't care if you run out. So basically, if we just started throwing all 50 off of a cliff... The game would it would have to be a soft lock unless they account for that, and he's just like, "Well, I hear you. let me give you some more." You have to catch all three. Okay, okay, okay. Only two, my darling. Okay, nice. You're right. We can still try. Okay, okay, okay. Cool idea. Let's do it. You have to catch all three? I'm so sorry I misunderstood. The, the, our whole poll of like which one's going to be our starter was pointless. Wait, please don't go. Okay. Did you just try to throw a Pokeball at me? I'd rather you not. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
I can hardly believe it. Arceus. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? I wish they attacked you. I guess this is the... They will eventually. This is the beginning area. Okay, uh... Gotta get a good snipe here. Ooh, Oshawa moves. Oh. Professor, I need more Pokeballs. <laughs> this guy had a lot. So I feel like going for a 45 degree angle actually does not increase your distance too much. Oh. Plish plash. Stop moving so much, Oshawa. Rahab Jamali, thanks for being a nine monther. Yeah, so, okay, so, like, check this out. Uh, just show, throwing it straight ahead. That's our distance. 45 degree angle. That's our distance. So it seems like actually, like, aiming up doesn't change that much for you. Cutest starter Pokemon. Um, Chikorita? It does? It does not. I just proved it. I proved it doesn't change your distance that much. Okay, straight ahead, right? Look where it lands. Right there. 45 degrees. Right there. You can adjust your aim with ZR? What do you think I'm pressing? Not so high. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Straight ahead. Right there. Not so high. Right there. So chat, just to be clear here, proper physics is 45 degrees. That was farther, no question. So it seems like if you aim here, you're gonna get the same distance as if you aim here. So it does seem like here's the sweet spot. Oh. Damn, Oshawa. He just said they are mysterious. He did. It's only 45 degrees without wind resistance. This is proper sim. Oh my god. <laughs> Chad, if you bring up air drag, I'm going to cry. <laughs> There we go. So you really can't throw that far. Oh! <laughs> ah yes, I'm afraid that can happen, my expression. Pokeballs have hardly a 100% foolproof. Uh, give it another go, old girl. Uh-huh. Alright, I think we got the range now. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, all three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our search. They won't listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. 
But I must say, Arceus, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? <laughs> Does it normally take a hundred throws? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. You are a special child. Seek out all Pokemon. Once more, this is something I love about Red and Blue. Where it's like, you re you really just are a kid. Just doing your own shit. We're a, cho we're a little chosen child right now. We're a very special super chosen child. That object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be uh, guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. And like this canonically makes Professor Oak a dumb hack. Hundreds of years later being like, I come up with something called a Pokedex. It's like, what? They were doing this hundreds of years ago, Professor Oak. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented. <laughs> and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork. Don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? Uh... <laughs> Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? Oh. Come now. What do you say? That we help one another out, my girl. Come now. What do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? Then, whoever and wh from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Proper clothes. Follow me then, onward to Jibby Life Village. So Arceus birthed the, the trainer? Uh, Arceus asked us a lot of questions about ourselves. I see us as some sort of cosmic being on the level of Arceus. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. Also called Arceus. Yeah, we're on the same level. This way, if you please. Heck yeah. Oh, oh, we got a slow Last of Us camera right now. Or movement, I mean. I cannot run right now. Do stick close. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh. 
Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? I think they don't like my shorts. Sean Doom, thanks for being a 19 monther. We are Arceus made flesh. <laughs> Dennis, thanks for gifting a sub. Oh, botheration, I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past the bridge here, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Daxworth, thanks for being a five mother. Have a great stream, I am so far. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Oh, I don't like this one bit. Thank you, Arceus. <laughs> Child. The Wallflower is marked on your map. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. This is cool, dude. It is, I think, in terms of, like, explorational area, bigger than any other Pokemon village. Right? There's been bigger Pokemon cities in other Pokemon games, right? But, like, they don't let you explore this much. I wonder if there's anyone capable of catching enough Pokemon to fill all the pastures here. That'd be me. I'll do it. Seems kind of flat, though. Oh, for sure. Not now. Who says not now? Who says not now? This is cool, dude. All right. Do you think I'll be able to walk into this building? My guess is no. My guess is invisible wall. Here we go. Okay. Invisible wall. Worth a shot. One thing I wanted to point out about Pal World is like how many how many Pal World monsters are just Pokemon? Like, there's there's a bunch of Murkrows in that trailer. There's a Zora mixed up with a Rashiram. Like, just same colors. It's so weird. Uh, Chrono, thanks for being a nine-monther. Crows exist in real life. They have the exact same hat, bro. The exact same hat. Golden Triforce has an OEI request. For meeting a cat, I'm going to try to adopt tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Chrono, next for me in nine months. Pal World's Murkrow looks cooler, though. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Stop that. I guess it does have like a plague doctor mask, right? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> cool. Yeah, this is fun. 
Revengard thinks being an 11 monther. Pa chi. <laughs> You're right, I read that wrong. It's definitely pa -chi. Don't look down at me like that. Cool village, dude. Yeah, this is messed up. Sometimes they just can't help themselves. That wheezing should not exist yet. I think they do it on purpose. I think they like to throw stupid things in the face of the lore. Just to say we don't have to abide by anything. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflower is for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Okay. Oh boy. Who in the world are you? And what's with that bizarre garb you're wearing? A Pokemon could slice through those flimsy excuses for clothes. Okay, bro. Huh. For you to get in here? Someone must have vouched for you. Was it Professor Laventon? Do you two know each other? He's from a region a long way off. Not the most reliable sort, though. Uh, letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. There's three more of them got away just a while ago. If I hadn't been resting up after some Pokemon drubbed me with a move called Thundershock, <laughs> I'd have corralled them for sure. But the Professor... Well... He's bad at throwing Pokeballs. Unfortunately, it's just as Ray says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Oh. But everything would be quite all right now. Arceus here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps? Good expression. What makes you think that's a good idea? We can't just take in any misfit who wanders in from the wilderness. I'll allow it. Gah! Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me... Selene. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon. They slipped his control, and now it seems like us to feed. How's you in exchange for your aunt? Yeah. Hm. You look to be... 15 or so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Quite old enough to work for your keep. <laughs> All right. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of the skills or origin. Tomorrow we shall self-worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now. Would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my distraction. I like Selene. Aloof as always, I say. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, huh? Benny, you jump! The usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Villain vibes? No way, villain vibes. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. 
Where'd you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Ah, well, you know that great hole in the sky? The one people call the Space Time Rift? You know that thing? Do you know of it? Yep. Our friend fell right through it. Was that a joke? Yep. Come on now, I'm a scientist. Why were you nodding then? <laughs> hey, Min-Max Raiders. We've just started. We've, we've just started. We're just getting introduced to the, the main characters right now. Uh, we have not had a single Pokemon battle yet, so you've not missed too much from this game. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with the facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Sure, they're all over the place. In the grass. In the forests. In the ocean. <laughs> it's up to us in the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying. But it's all impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wonderful things they could do. <laughs> but that's where Arceus would come in. She successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. Wow, we are truly special. No way. Hanson was playing this game too. It's the next deepest dive they're doing. Nice. That's a good pick for a deepest dive. I wonder how would they pick uh, where to stop. This game doesn't have like chapters or anything, does it? That means we will finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. That's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single wild Pokemon while fending off their attacks. Uh, so it's funny, something like that, right? Um, a hero is meant to do something amazing the first opportunity they have. I do feel as though it makes everyone else look very bad because it was so easy for us to catch those three Pokemon. Thought it was more like, look how the modern Pokemon child is ages ahead of the past. Like how I could compete in the Olympics if I traveled back 300 years. You mean something like that. I guess they didn't have Olympics 300 years ago, but you know what I mean. Okay, alright chat, I can buy that. I can buy it. I can buy it. Yeah, for real, if you look at like ancient Greek discus throwers, so weak. We could all beat them. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. And chat, we could definitely beat any of those ancient Greek wrestlers. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> those buff guys from the statues? Yeah. Yeah, because here's the dumb thing. They were always naked. What I would do is I would go to my ancient Greek wrestling match with, you know, like a wrestling suit and a cup. Bingo, baby. I just lost, like, my biggest weak point. I would simply wear clothes. Yeah. Now what are you going to do? Chad, is there a clip of watching Kyle throwing away Pokeballs? I don't think anybody clipped it. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the... Oh, I'm sorry. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? <laughs> Sorry, I saw Outsider and just gave him that accent suddenly. Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress of that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. 
I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Arceus. And think, if you make it to do the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides you provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fail out of the sky. That was quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. You're awfully relaxed about all this. You do know that we don't have to get... We, we don't get to have Arceus join the Survey Corps unless she passes a trial. Not to worry! I have complete confidence in Arceus' skills! Let's hope it is not misplaced. Arceus, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you to sleep. You may use our... Jupiter of the Moti. Thanks for being an 11 monther. But you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow. You must. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death. Wow. I choose that. Cat and Silene's like Hisui in a way. They're both pretty harsh. Well, now now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. What kind of futons do we have? <laughs> Belvedere, thanks for being a seven-monther. Yeah, sleep tight. What kind of magical futons do we have? <laughs> Still, people falling from the sky? Kind of stuck. Japanese futons are on the floor. Okay. Yeah, we do know that that professor comes from a faraway land with tall beds. Not now. Okay. How are you liking this game so far? We haven't done anything cool yet. We're not quite there yet. We're still in the introductory phase. This is a nice house they set us up with, though, dude. Beautiful. Chat, this is better than any of your secret hideouts. I know you all worked really hard on your secret hideouts. This place is better than any of yours. Ethan Weathen, thanks for reading 20-monther. Chat, I think this is the first Pokemon game I could recommend with good conscience in nine years. Whoa. Damn, I worked so hard. <laughs> Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Got it. Hey, we got autosave. So chat pointed out a cool thing in that... Our sandals come off right there. Which is funny, there is a Pokemon game that took off your sandals. Was it Soul Silver that took off your shoes? That is cool. Our five principles. Number one, behave with courtesy to others. That's chat's principle too. Two, superiors are owed your respect. This is basically my streaming rules. Three, 
Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill afforded. Yep. Don't you dare like or dislike anything, okay? You, you <laughs> Everything simply exists, and you must accept it. Those who are weaker must be helped. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, we do that in chat, too. We help the weak ones. If somebody's trying to make a joke that's just not working out, we'll all pitch in and try to make it work. And number five, difficulties must be faced head on. Nice. Lovely stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. Vaguely Victoria, thanks for being a two-monther. I love a two-monther. We dislike those stones? Sorry, that's a luxury you cannot afford. Cool. Charm Lady Lucille. Neat. Neat. I actually don't know how to turn on autosave. Is it automatically on? It is, okay. Are the Badoofs okay? Did they die? Game volume low? Yeah, I can bump it a little bit. That did seem quiet. Hey, and are you awake? That was some wild lightning last night, right? Are you awake? Hey! Hey! Anyway, if you're up, come on out. <laughs> I'm gonna fill my coffee real quick. Can't change outfit yet. People in this town have no boundaries. It's like Monster Hunter Rise. We're all family. Did you sleep all right? Yep. Good. Coffee real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, I kind of mean, I like that um, there's some consistency with this village and everything. It does feel like we're visiting a place, you know? We better not keep Captain Silene waiting. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Okay. Like your t-shirt. Thank you. I think my sister gave this to me. Or she was thrift shopping. Thanks, Edith. Yeah, we did some first person walking around. Look at that little togepi. We've done some first-person exploring. Good-looking building! Really? Except for that coughing. Wheezing, excuse me.
Okay, so here's the deal. That symbol right there and Team Galaxy was the Team Rocket of the um, Diamond and Pearl games. So that's the kind of fun, uneasy uh, context happening here. Is we see an evil logo on our uniforms. We're joining up with a team that we assume in the future will become an evil team. And we don't know if they're evil now. We don't know what happens there. And so I think that's actually a fun thing to do with prequels. It's like we have more knowledge than these characters have. It's presented as a good thing. If you didn't if you didn't like know that symbol, if you didn't play those other games, you'd have no reason to suspect that like Galaxy Hall would be a bad thing. But we're all suspicious of it and that that makes it kind of funny. Did you get your coffee? I did. I did refill. How is this different from Xenoblade? This is different from Xenoblade in a thousand ways. I don't understand the question. For one thing, it looks worse. Oh my gosh. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they were everywhere. Attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. Uh, this is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to rights. You, uh, do you realize that if you fail your trial and get flung out of the village, you will, you could well die. <laughs> All day Shay, thanks for gifting 10 gift subs. Out there. Pretty heavy. Pretty heavy thing for a Pokemon game to say. It's implied in the first Pokemon games. You're not allowed to go to the tall grass because you will get attacked by Pokemon. Here they're straight up saying you will die. Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take on this trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. Cat and Silene, ma'am? I brought Arceus. Manta. Silene's good. Because we're talking about uh, uh, Team Galaxy, right? And how you're meant to suspect them all. They want you to suspect her to be evil. They actually, they would not be that on the nose. I think she's going to turn out to be pretty clutch in the end. Are we pulling the starter? We actually already did. The winner is Cyndaquil. Thordenson! Thanks for being a four-mother. I like that name a lot. Are you a Pokemon? Why is her name Arceus? We like came into being and then Arceus asked us like what we look like and what our name is. And so like not having any frame of reference for what a name would be like, we just stole Arceus's name. Let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable of going to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Catching three different species of Pokemon. The Doof. Starly. Shinx. Three species right away? <laughs> but none of us have even managed that! Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough, aha. Uh -huh. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. You wish to stay. You must prove beyond any doubt that... That Abra is ominous. I really like it. I will tend... Excuse me, I will lend you one of our survey core satchels to carry whatever you... Okay. That whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. Ray, I'd expect you to step in if it's a rabbi. 
Okay. Sure. Pardon, Arceus? Come in with me for a moment. <laughs> you can't just barge in here. I'm talking to the boss. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Arceus absolutely must pass this trial. And as Professor of Pokemon, I've got just a ticket to help accomplish that. True. Phew. Please, please. Go on, Arceus. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me. But it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Can I have all three? Well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Give me all three. Second world map. Thank you for being a 16-monther. What's my favorite Pokemon trainer class? Bugcatcher, swimmer, cool trainer. Um, Pokemon freak? That exists, right? The guy who's like on on his knees with like he's like hunched over with a Pokemon, Pokeball, Pokemaniac, Pokemaniac. Thank you. Um, Arc Star. Thanks for being a four monther. Gnome Strike. Thanks for being a thirteen monther. Um, this is cool. This is what I want in Pokemon games. You know what I mean? Like we're able to wander around right now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait till I go. Just cool that we're able to like see these Pokemon right in front of our eyes. They stare up at us. I'm not picking you, bro. I'm not picking you, bro. I'm picking you, bro. Can I convince you to release your starter because they're stupidly overpowered? No. No, no, no. I love stupidly overpowered. Yes. Did you do the same thing at the adoption center? For sure, though, you do. You look at all the cats. You look at all at, the, at all of them in the eyes. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. That stupid Oshawott. <laughs> it's funny, Oshawott's eyes and Rowlet's eyes are essentially the same. It's just about where you put the white dot. Do I wish they made three new starters for this game? I just wish they were different. Obviously, their final evolutions are different, but not in the way that I would like. I'd like for them to be more rudimentary, basically. I'd like for them to look ancient. Rowlet does not look ancient with that little bow tie. Though, I mean, I guess look at our professor right here who has his own bow tie. Yeah, I would I would like, like, I would like for the Hisuian Pokemon to be more devolved. But it seems like they're just, like, more frilly, more intricate, actually. But yeah, I think it's a cool mix of starters. Sucks that the forms got leaked. They put out a trailer, I think, earlier this week, actually with the forms, at least of the starters. An official trailer, like here's where here's where the starters get to. Imagine if they put some beta Pokemon here as a nod. Oh, that'd be, that'd be too sweet. I, I've not forgotten about Madame. I like Surfetched, but I haven't forgotten Madame. Good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside its Pokeball for you. Oh, that's what you... Okay, so take it. It's yours. Take it. It's yours. Yeah, I like the latch on the Pokeball. It's got a good look to it. A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Too cool! <laughs> okay. Flash. 
This game is based on the Hokkaido history back in 1890 to 1900s, so it's not really that ancient. Thank you, Stephen Not Strange. That's actually good to know. Raffle nickname? No. No. Okay, exclamation point raffle. Space. The name you would like to name our Cyndaquil. In chat. No, I can still... Oh, it, never mind. It is Tremonious. It's Tremonious. We've already decided. It's Tremonious. I don't even know how to close the raffle. I don't think there's a function for that. Dogalog, thanks for the two-monther. I don't even know how to close this, this raffle. It's closed? Okay. Good looking out. Thank you. But I wanted to call him Spike Butt. This is why we do this. Our Cyndaquil will be named Tremonious. We can, we can raffle off other names. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Arceus fell from the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you do. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. No, let me take them. <laughs> By the by, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? Let's see if I can remember. Starly, Shanks, Bidoof. Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. These Pokeballs may be uncrafted, but they work as a treat. But they work a treat, as you've already seen. <laughs> I've never heard the phrase, they work a treat. You'll have to excuse me. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to Obsidian Fieldlands. Meet me at the gate to your left as you leave HQ. Is this music bad? Honestly, I have it turned down super low on my end. Who said that? They work a treat as British. Yeah, he does seem to have... A lot of British flavor to his text. Weird door, huh? Uh, Toasty Soul, thanks for being a 20 monther. <laughs> you changed names in the menu. Oh, weird. Well, I don't like that one bit. Will I try the new alcoholic Baja Blast? No. I still haven't seen the new Mountain Dew that you all promised would stick around. What menu, by the way? What's his version's PC? It seems to be some fields um, outside of town, which is pretty cool. Oh, this is cool, huh? Up. Neat. Yeah, just a little, yeah, just a little goosing. HUD toggling. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I think I want to turn that off. You agree, chat? Okay.
Sorry, I forgot what I came to the menu to do. <laughs> you told me to do something. You won. Thanks for being an 11 wanther. Name the Pokemon. Oh my god. Wow. I wonder if we're just like not going to be naming our Pokemon too much. Harmonious is a great name, though. Good God. Oh, we should check it out, right? How you doing, Harmonious? Special attack up, defense down. We're stoked about the special, but that sucks. We got a bad roll on Harmonious. <laughs> not horrible yeah it's not horrible but you never want you never want a ding on defense I'll take a, a ding on speed any day it's cool dude it's cool they crafted out these tools we do throw a lot of pokeballs so I appreciate this effort Look at your cool bug face, dude. You look great. I'm not going to talk to you right now, though. See ya. I don't need that flavor text. Like a proto-Nurse Joy? Oh, this is the guy who went out too far. <laughs> cool, the eye chart? This is sweet. Looking at it, switch from low poly to high poly. Cool. N64, GameCube, N64, GameCube. That must be his futon. <laughs> cool. See Roselia on there. It's cool that Rowlet hangs out in here, huh? Oh yeah, and there's Oshawa. Oh, you know what? That's pretty sad. <laughs> he's like he's like up at the top of that tank. Oh my gosh. NIXC, thanks for being a 12 monther. Congrats on the year. And I guess this is where Cyndaquil would have been. Yeah, we should have picked Oshawa just to save it from that fate. I don't think the tank has a ceiling to its credit. But, uh, yeah, that Oshawa does not look happy to me. Alright, we're good to go. Cool building, man. It's going to be hard for me to go back. Like, I want all Pokemon games to be like this going forward. He never looks happy. <laughs> Not true. Not true. I guess we should continue the tutorial for now. Like, I was going to go back to the, the charm store, right? But, like, you know, they're not going to sell us a thing right now. What a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. 
the go-to choice for any of your merchantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Well, no, that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Uh, go ahead. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. Uh, you're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success, so what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to another in battle? Okay. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial year to attempt, so let's uh, have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Okay. Go, Tremonius! <laughs> that was sick. Good presentation on this stuff. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Wow, dude, check this out. Okay, buddy. All right. Quick attack. Quick attack is all you have, huh? Whoa, nice animation on that. They're hitting each other. This fight is impossible to lose. Cool. Try standing between them when they attack, okay. Hey, Tremonius! It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Yep. Excuse me? Jam Sebastian, thanks for being a 19 monther. Do we have like full access to a Pokemon's entire moveset in this game? That'd be wild. You read that right, Pokemon do not forget moves anymore. That's a major mix up. Wow. I guess there's no problem with it. Yeah, you. so you equip four. You basically create a loadout. Yeah, that's pretty neat, actually. There's no reason not to. Let's evolve. Let's, let's mix up the franchise. Jimothy, don't use the word deck, because deck would imply that the moves they select are, select are randomized. I don't want to see the word deck. It's a loadout. Do I think Nintendo will let next level games make something new? Or are they stuck with in Luigi's Mansion land? They're definitely not stuck in Luigi's Mansion land. Uh, Derek, 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 thanks for gifting five gift subs. But I do wonder, I wonder. It was something I was thinking about a lot this week. Is like, uh... IP generation. Like, you, you need to, like, mine your old IP constantly, but you also need to, like, start new stuff. You need to be, you need to be, you know, planting seeds at least for new franchises that could potentially grow into Pokemon or Pikmin or Splatoon even, you know? Lay the pipe, exactly. Yeah, you need to lay pipe. And so I wonder if next level games will get to lay some pipe. 
Do I think they'll move to having two teams now that they're first party? Sure. I think it'd be sweet. They're in Vancouver, right? The last truly successful new IP from Nintendo was probably Splatoon. Yeah. Yeah, Pushmo lived and died. <laughs> Pushmo got a bunch of sequels and then died. Ring Fit's tough, chat. I, I don't know if Ring Fit's a one and done, right? Because, like, We Fit sold like crazy, but you wouldn't call We Fit a successful franchise. Dylan's rolling western li lived and died. Dylan is dead. Ring Fit is actually really good. For sure, for sure. And honestly, Wii Fit was really good too. That balance board is sick. But it's like, does it live beyond that one product? Kyle, I forget, do you grind your own beans? Great question, I do not. Though it's something that I'd like to try someday. Ray's still talking. He's got a lot to say. <laughs> yeah, so I, Chad, I think if there's a Ring Fit Adventure 2, straight up sequel with new exercises and the same equipment, I don't think it does as well as Ring Fit 1 does. I think it's going to be tricky to franchise that out, to really consider it an IP. Is Kyle bailing already? No, 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 we're just chatting. We're just chatting. We're just chatting. This is something that I was just thinking about this week. I think they need to do Ring Fit Sports or Ring Fit Platformer. Yeah. Yeah, they would that's what would have to be done. This sounds like a joke, but I'm serious. Act surprised. I'm gonna try and have Forrest Minish Rebecca raid you. Isla and I wanna hook you up with her. She's the woman who Jeff said would attend his the funer her funeral on Twitter. Don't try to get people to raid me. That's poor form. Especially not Jeff's enemies. <laughs> if it was Ubisoft, we'd be playing Ring Fit Verse by now. Yeah, I wonder what that team's working on right now. Whenever you leave Jubilife Village, you have to pick a destination from your map and let rest the guardsmen know where you're off to. Okay, 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 okay. So it's not... We, th we, th we knew this was coming. This is not completely open world. We're not going to run out of this gate and just, like, go and explore wildly. We accept this. This was the, the uh, monster hunter expectation. But let's see how big this environment is. Yeah, we were ready for it to be monster huntery. We were ready for that. This is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now, remember what you got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. I'm curious to see if the professor's stories about you are really true. Oh, professor? Uh, something wrong? Ah, uh, well, you see, Captain Silene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to a sudden guest. She doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. Arceus's talents are the real deal. She'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. So in other words, I'm still the one bearing the responsibility here. Okay. Not my ideal 
state of affairs. Let's just get started. You'll be more than e equal to this, Arceus. Okay, m being more than equal is another phrase I'm not familiar with. Monster Hunter Rise looks better than this? Nah. Where are you even going? Oh my god. I'm exploring this world. This is Aspiration Hill. Stand here by me and be amazed. Look, a Badoof. You're almost off the tutorial chain. Okay, okay. I'll stick with it. Yeah. Okay. How many shots? I got it right here. I got it lined up. Watch this. Oh, it was so close. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Let us bet. No, we got to move on. We got to move along. We can't do a bet for every Pokemon catch. <laughs> Run, Badoof. ZLZR never misses. That's not right. Where are you going? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Hey, Shabello. If this released on Wii U, would people still call it ugly? I mean, Xenoblade X was on Wii No grass necessary. You ever watch that Badoof short? Yeah, that was awesome. And that's Starly caught too. I admit, I'm impressed so far. About how far in are we? I feel like we're, if I wasn't like taking breaks and talking to chat, I feel like we're like a half hour into this game. Give me that smidgen. New glasses? Yeah, so many new glasses. These are my desk glasses. They are specifically for this limited range of like three to four feet. <laughs> They're very weird. I can't wear them outside of the house or even like walking around the apartment is weird. Are we releasing the tutorial captures? No, they're going to be sent back to the farm. Love just hearing the ambient sounds. That's a good comment. They are kind of nice. Do I use them for handheld switch? I do not. Because most of the time I got handheld switch, I'm also watching TV. Uh-oh. 
Taco Mambo, thanks for gifting 10 gift subs. Cool. And you get XP for that, Badoof? Sick. Okay, tell me right now. Tell me right now. Tell me right now. Tell me right now. Does Badoof have a new Kisuin evolution? I just need to know. If, if the answer is yes, I will dedicate my life to this Badoof. He does not. Okay. All right. Good to know. It was good to know. I'm glad. I'm glad we know that. So <laughs> Went b straight back to the bench. You sounded so excited. I, I was genuinely excited. Uh, Percival, thanks for being a 20 month or afternoon, Kyle, Mucho, and chat. Oh, my bad. Are you keeping your starter? Yeah, we'll probably keep Tremonius around. Chat says Tremonius is OP. There it is. Shinx. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Yup. Rudor, we're actually just talking about it. The Badoof short is called is called Badoof's Big Stand, chat. It's worth checking it out on YouTube. It's like on the official Pokemon channel. For some reason, they made a big budget animated short film about Badoof. I'm not even sure why, but it's very good. That figures. Me, I have to focus on a Pokemon carefully to notice a thing like that. But you're so cool. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll knock away any balls you throw. Cool. Good tip, good tip. Sorry, I got. To, I thought these these were like special rocks, right? The way they glistened. But I think just like everything in this environment has that natural glisten. So it looks like you cannot interrupt their attacks. Oh, my bad. My bad. At least we got that XP. I got carried away, Chad. I'm sorry. I forgot what the mission was. Shanks. Whoa, whoa, your two turns? What's that about? Press Y to see the turn order. Sure. That's new. Xylo Wolfbane, thanks for being a 20 monther. Turning 37 tomorrow. Having a blast with Pokemon Arceus. Can I get a birthday wish? Also, you enjoying the game? Sure. Happy birthday, Xylo Wolfbane. Uh, yeah. I'm on, honestly having a pretty good time. I think this game is dumb as nails, but so far it's, like, just pretty fun. You really are some kind of prodigy. <laughs> These people are just dumb.
Okay, and I should have pressed X to switch to Pokeballs instead of going into the menus. Got it. First you fall from the sky, then you go and catch all of our escape Pokemon one after another. <laughs> okay, bro, it's enough. It's enough. Yeah, it looks like speed matters a lot now if you can have back-to-back -back turns. That's pretty crazy. Woohoo! I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seemed you went and did just that. Congratulations, Arceus! You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Gotta admit, it's true. You got real talent for this. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Silin. Uh, time to head back to Jubilee Village, yes? No, let me explore. Oh, okay. Also, different moves have different turn costs. Oh, that is huge, dude. Eventually, you should be able to have Pokemon you've caught go live in the village pastures. The most Pokemon a person can have with them while out exploring is six, apparently. Not that we have anyone who can manage that. Pathetic. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Sai Len awaits our report at the headquarters. Can't wait to see the captain's reaction. <laughs> Apparently. I, you know what? Apparently works for me. It means that that character gets how weird that sounds. He understands that's arbitrary. Yeah, everything's just got this weird purple shimmer to it. I don't mind it. Just wrapping my head around it. I am surprised there are not more wild Pokemon around town, but it sounds like we're all pretty new to catching Pokemon. These two in their eternal battle. Pachi! <laughs> yeah, look at that strut, dude. Seems we don't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Get changed in the room you used last night. Then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is our first official order from your captain. Okay. So now we're about to meet the actual evil person. Yeah. The professor is the evil person. He doesn't have it in him. He's too weak. Whoa, there's a lot of, uh... I mean, I guess that's normal for Pokemon games. A lot of options. Contacts? <laughs> okay.
A lot of good options, honestly. I like lavender ice, chat. Pop some contacts in. Huge ovular contacts. <laughs> Just like this big. Just like a fuck. We can't see the eyes. My bad. I forgot I'm in the upper left hand corner. My bad. My bad. Look at you in the Survey Corps uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. But I do wonder what the captain decided to go ahead and get a cap uniform ready for you. Cute. That implies that the captain trusted in us all along. Switch tax is this game for 60 bucks compared to like 10 for a game that looks like Uncharted or 15 for Game Pass. What $10 game looks like Uncharted? By the way, the uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes were 60 bucks. This I'll allow. It's break time. Let's uh, let's go upstairs. Let's talk to the evil boss, and then we'll um, then we can take a break. Uncharted goes on sale. This won't. That's true. <laughs> Metroid Dread was 60, yeah. Yeah, I just, like, it's... I can't muster a problem with it because it's, like, up front. There's no sketchiness to it. You know what I mean? It's straight up just, like, we're gonna sell you a good video game for $60. That's what we have to offer. Though, here's a weird thing. When I did buy this off the Nintendo eShop, there was a little thing under the cost of the game that said in it does offer in-app purchases or whatever. In-game purchases. And I wonder about that. What is What are they talking about? Is there going to be DLC? Or is there something I can buy in this game right now? Probably future DLC. Okay, probably. That, I, I'm, they're planning on it already then. Maybe, um, maybe this fall we get DLC for this game. That'd be cool. It'd be a little early, but I don't think there's another Pokemon game coming out this year. Paid graphical update! <laughs> yeah, okay. And you know who would pay? Well, no, I wouldn't need... I wouldn't just do a full playthrough all the way over again, so maybe I wouldn't pay. Still fancy pants. Thanks for being a 17 monther. You may wear this as well. No, thanks. <laughs> I don't love it, Captain. Now, present yourself to the commander. This game a full playthrough. We'll see. I'm in, I'm having a really good time so far. I'm going to the fourth floor too, dude. Yeah, right. Like I just walk in and do the next thing. Evie is here, huh? What's your deal? What does the purple core do? Maybe we ought to build some spare lodgings in case anyone else falls out of the sky. Good idea. This we'll find out later. That's a hairstyle, not a hat, by the way. Confused me at first. So how do we turn it off?
You have to go to the salon, okay. That guy's really just standing there. We have to go talk to him now. I have been waiting for you! I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Yeah, this guy's evil. He's evil. Ah, so you Ah, Arceus. Uh. A simple yes or no will do, dear. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. First me in combat. Okay. <laughs> Here! That's the first interesting thing our character did. Legit tried to fight this guy. Giovanni's grandpa. I love that idea. Yeah, this guy's evil. You've got vigor. I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome for everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally, literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as important. A disaster. Once you pass the trial that was put to you, no matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Cheapy Life Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Dam and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Arceus, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. So chat, one, right now I'm wondering if this is like British floors too. Aren't we actually on the fourth floor right now? That's what I got confused by. I thought this guy was above the person I was supposed to go talk to. But maybe I just got the layout of this building wrong. So the commander has accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Oh, Momo, Momo, Momo! Thanks for being an 18-monther. It's not a story the gym leaders would tell you. I am certain I am the first one to make this joke. You actually are. Indeed. You see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer to that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Yeah. You will need this. Beep, 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 beep. Crafting. Cool, dude. Jar Jar Shanks is a good joke. Ray, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Yeah, ma'am, Captain. <laughs> Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting makes me means making items from scratch. That's right. Whatever you need in your survey work, you'll mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's good to try to self be self. So this way, we can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. But listen to me, prattle on. You'll go to the crafts work so you can try it for yourself. Okay. Got it. So this is a basement. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. There's no exit this way. 
Yep, we'll take a break right now. We'll do it. Well, before we leave, I do want to talk to the person who I thought was on the third floor. It turns out is on the second. Just got here. For some reason, Kyle picked Cyndaquil and not Rowlet. I know. I know. I know. I went with chat's vote. Look at this guy. Cool. Love that, actually. All right, so obviously everything is... not the best looking right this this looks gross this looks like a gamecube game straight up uh but i do like some of the details they put in these environments big time it's a pleasure to walk through them don't insult the gamecube like that isn't that crazy like i think that they're using GameCube techniques here still. Not just low res, but like, uh. Okay, yeah, like low res textures as well. We got a little Luigi's Mansion doorknob right there. Okay. All right, we're gonna leave. We're gonna take a quick break. I'm ready to go out and do some adventuring. Oh, of course we have to learn to craft. Well done, earning a place in our team. My name's Anth. I'm the local clothier. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes. So here you go. I do hope they fit. Thank you, Anth. I hope you'll avail yourself of our village's humble shops. Okay. Hey! This way to the crafts works! What's my theory on why this game is so low budget? This game is not low budget. It is... To me... Like, I, like this team's last game was Pokemon... Uh... Sword and Shield. They're working their butts off. Wonderbolt, thanks for being a 16 monther. Check mystery gift in the menu. Mystery gift has some extra outfits. That's the picture they took. That's cool. What what menu are you talking about? There it is. That's on it. <laughs> Imagine having the best selling franchise in the world and this is what you make. All right, chat. I know it's not up to modern day standards, but I think this is cool. What I'm playing and looking at today is at least cool. You can't access it yet. Okay. I can't match your cynicism today. Normally I'm right on I'm right there with you. But so far it's been a treat. You talk to the clothier, she'll give you costumes for having saves from sore Oh, cool, 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 cool. I don't have an Eevee Pikachu save. Chat, complain, complain, complain. Well, that's what we do here. <laughs> I'll never tell chat to stop complaining. But I will say that's a harsh take. All right, but let's take that, let's take that quick break. And then we'll go talk to the clothier and get some new stuff. Definitely got to take this weird hat off. 
Better graphics than The Witcher. It looks the same. Minimum effort game? I don't believe that. I truly believe Game Freak worked their butts off to get this game out in time. I guess we could talk about it, though, because, okay, like, it is low budget in comparison to Horizon Forbidden West, which comes out in a couple of weeks, right? I guess that's the discussion to have. Would Nintendo ever pay, spend that much money on a video game? It's low budget compared to Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I guess. I bet, I bet, like, if, I bet if we, I bet if we, and we never would, right? I bet if we looked at their balance sheets. I guess it's not possible, but, like, it's a smaller team than Breath of the Wild working for much less time. All right. All right. I'll trust you. I'll trust you on that. Sword and Shield was much bigger budget. Really? So this is not this is not the full force of Game Freak, is what you're saying. This is not the full team. Who knows? You're right, there's no way of knowing. Only half the freaks? <laughs> Give me the full freak, baby. Does Little Town Hero look better? No. I want all the freaks. All right, let's uh, let's take that break though. Yeah, like that's the thing. It's like for sure, chat's complaining, but I don't mind the discussion. Nobody's wrong. Break time, Debbie in jail for borking. This better not just be forty-eight seconds of Debbie staring. This better be quality, Debbie. In jail for borking. Oh. Oh no, you gotta stay in jail now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I I realize I like the bad Debbie clips more than the good Debbie clips. <laughs> Alright, okay chat, quick break and we'll be right back. See you soon.
nothing to me e boys like you every dinner i don't believe what you preach you're just a rookie beginner hang out with boys on the street like that will make you a winner i don't believe what i see why you wearing gold you're nothing more than silverware thinking you're so bold We're back, baby. We're back. Got my Forza weeklies done in one day and unlocked the season's final car. Feels good to be done early. Nice. You're watching Peacemaker. Yeah, I have been watching Peacemaker, actually. Peace, wait, it's a hard show for me to, like, figure out its tone, frankly. Sometimes I really don't get it. Peacemaker legitimately had, like, a one-minute discussion about Berenstain Bears, Berenstain Bears. It's so weird. It's like, why are you, why are you doing this in a TV show? Why are you have like, why are you, are you pretending that this didn't exist on the internet already? What's the verdict on Arceus so far? I'm having a good time so far, but we've barely, we're not through the tutorial yet. What? Sorry, I'll move I'll move my cam for this. Might make sense just to make it disappear. Can I not preview them? You can. You need a new hairdo. Okay, so we can't even look at the hats until we have a different hairdo. Oh my gosh, okay. I think these are pretty weak. I don't think we'll be buying any kimonos. Ooh. I like the gi, though. Big time. We might be wandering the fields with a gi on. Little Goku one? James Gunn humor worked on my young self. It doesn't anymore. That's a brutal thing to say. But I get it. Save your cash. There's nothing I'd rather spend my money on. Don't love the glasses. A little too thick. into it too much this is what we had this is what we got for having um pokemon save file it's definitely different from the other stuff it's shaman themed yeah, Shaman, not my favorite. What do you get for having, um... A Pokemon Eevee save file. Masks. Okay. 
then uh, yeah, cool. The shaman thing is neat. Okay, I kind of like red. It's a good looking red, crimson, in fact. Purple's good too. Yeah, maybe we do perp. Just go Goku. We're not going Goku. I mean, it looks really good. It strays further from Goku's light. And then I also like Daffodil. Go Yamcha. Which one is Yamcha? Is, aren't they all orange? Daffodil is the move. Okay, we're going Daffodil. We haven't earned our Goku Gi yet. Yeah, I like this yellow. It's like slightly green. If you're in Photoshop, you go to yellow, but then you turn it up a little bit to green to get this color. This looks nice. All right. Yep. <laughs> they gave us 3,000 Poke dollars and then we just spent them already. Check mystery gift if you have it. But we don't have access to it yet. For some reason, you got to keep playing a bit before you can uh, check out your mystery gift. I like these illustrations. Shorn? Oh, cool. Shorn is shaved. Curled is a little too fancy for our status right now. I think someday we might work up to curled. Is your cam supposed to be off? Oh yeah, it was for a while we were um picking out hairdos. Yeah, we might go shorn. Hell yeah. Oh, eyebrow color. Got it. Cool. There we go. We're back, baby. Kaniac! Thanks for being Nate Mother. Can't decide if this game is ugly or not. Oh, I mean, the game's ugly. It's ugly. You just gotta work to appreciate it. And now we can take a look at the hats, too, actually. No. No, 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 okay. Just skip the caps. Those are not happening. Ooh. That's pretty nice. Oh, hell yeah. We might be getting a headband. Though none of them are like a really good colors for what we got going. We can't double dip, dip on daffodil. Ooh, maybe crimson for the headband, dude. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, we're broke already. Cool. Now we learn how to craft. Do I still own any headbands? Yeah, I still own them. They were basically just for dealing with my long hair. But in case I ever uh, need to um, wear one for a costume or something, I got I got someone left around. I don't think I'll ever have hair as long as my COVID hair again. That's funny. That shot 
of the crafting table I assumed was a picnic uh, carrying case. I don't know, you know, like people have a picnic case. It's in the it's in the commercial that's like airing on Twitch. Where it's like Pokemon Arceus. And there's just one shot of that picnic case. Turns out it's actually like a crafting table. That's definitely a plate. Yeah, you you could see why I would think that was for picnics. Though, I mean, it's definitely a hammer, too. Picnic case? Is that a thing? For sure it's a thing. Oh, hey, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. You know what? It's it's weird to me now that... Whoa, look at the frame rate on that woman in the back. Looks like a... Looks like a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer stop-motion animation, you know? Can't remember the name of that studio. It's very weird that all Pokemon know how to shrink. Rankin-Bass. Good stuff, chat. She looks Rankin-Bass in the background. Excuse me, ma'am. You look rankin' bass. Um. Isn't that weird? All Pokemon just know how to shrink? The Pokeball doesn't even shrink the Pokemon. It just captures them once they have shrunk. I'm going to choose to believe that this professor doesn't understand what he's seeing, actually. Ignore that. Yeah, I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it, actually. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. It's not like the Pokemon can just shrink at will. He's a phony. No question. You know what? He just doesn't get it. That's just his headcanon. It has to be. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly reported in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. Oh boy, this is what I'm nervous about. Research level zero. I caught it. Yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. Number you've defeated with ground type moves. Like, I don't even... That is so intimidating, bro. <laughs> it's so scary. How does a child build shrink technology with acorns and rocks? The acorns are magic. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. I'll take plenty of research. It'll take plenty of research tasks to help the professor complete the Pokedex. So don't get overwhelmed. You only have to get them to level 10 for the entry. You can do any of those things to do so. Got it. Okay. Okay. So there's actually, like, no incentive to do all of those things. I'll be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands Camp whenever you are ready, my good Arceus. Can I play now? Hey, excuse me. Uh, can I help it over here? 
If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm a standing guard, so I can't leave my post. But I I'll be here at the headquarters if you want to uh, talk about it. Side quests. Hell yeah. Hey, so uh, there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. You heard of it? Yeah. Well, you see, I have a, I was having a chat with Professor Lavington, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience points through battling and, and the like, uh, sometimes it'll, it changes its appearance, becomes stronger. So he said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Yep, I'm familiar. So I decided I, I want to I, I want to raise a Whirlpool myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you could catch a Whirlpool, could you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just give me a Whirlpool if you can. <laughs> this guy's cool. <laughs> that guy's really cool. Did I play Psychonauts 2? Yeah, we streamed, I think, like, the first big chunk, and then I finished the rest on my own. You skipped it, but evolution works slightly different in this game. Once you meet the requirement, you have to go in the menu and select Evolve. Wow. Oh, yeah, and true. Then we streamed the, the uh, Platinum Cleanup, which actually took two extra streams. I know Shinx's ears had hard markings on the insides, but what are they? No use. Can't remember. This'll keep me up all night. That guy in the background is still just muttering. Was the Mountain Dew flavor you mentioned earlier thrashed apple? No! Now you're talking to me about a whole new Mountain Dew flavor I've never heard of before. I've never heard of Thrashed Apple before. The one that chat's always talking about is um, Raspberry Lemonade. It makes sense when you consider you might not want to have a Pokemon evolve because you want to do more Pokedex tasks. It does make sense. But also, like, what are we prodding the Pokemon to do in the menu? Thrashed Apple is bottom tier, okay. We need to have a do tier maker someday? Honestly, I'd be unqualified. I don't know where you all live. I don't get these cool extra Mountain Dew flavors. Basically, it's green, red, and pink. You're lucky to have pink. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? Gotta see one with my own eyes. Please! Can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. I got a Shinx. Toshi, look. Got one of those Shinx to show me? Yeah. Show me your Shinx. Alrighty, let's have a peek at those round ears. Turn around, little Shinx. That's it. Zier's got a yellow cross pattern. Upside down cross. Kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. Chat. Uh, Baztec, thanks for being a 14 monther. Gotta catch some of them. <laughs> no, we're gonna catch them all. For Arceus. Oh, cool. There's more requests. No, stop it. No, I'm sorry. Get rid of that. There we go. <laughs> are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have uh, to get out and about to compile that um, Pokedex book they're working on, right? Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokedex... Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I feel simply whole. 
Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one. Mind you, I would... I would never. Please, let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Cool. And then I think I saw one more. Yeah. Did I f try, try the gingerbread snapped Mountain Dew? No! I work at a market in Durham, and we haven't sold any of them. Kaniac, that's crazy, right? I live in Raleigh. I've never seen one of those. I would gladly try the gingerbread Mountain Dew. A big weasel. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one. Oh. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know that the professor said they do, but I've had a hard time believing it unless I see different sized ones lined up side by side. Really, Dorian? If there really are Buizel bigger than mine, I'll have to see them alongside the one I have. You know, for comparison's sake. You know what? Buizel's pretty cool. So is its evolution. I actually forget the name of it right now. What does Buizel evolve into? Little Buizel! Little Big! Floatzel. Floatzel. God, that's a dumb name. Yeah, man, this town's cool. I know it's underwhelming. I know it's probably the only town in this entire game, but actually, like, I'm pr it's pretty cool to be here. I dig it. I might say I dig it more than Monster Hunter Rises Town, which does look better, is more dense, but it's just, uh, it's got good vibes here. Kyle, you're crazy. Yeah, I mean, there's no dongo shops here, right? There's nothing on that level. Are the dropped frames from the game or the stream? I regret to inform you I have, I have dropped 48 frames today, which is 0.0% .0 of the frames I've broadcast. So it's probably the game. Dropping frames. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are many great research tasks I'll need you to help carry out, my girl. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for your reference anytime. Uh-huh. Ooh, that's kind of cool. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so, and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Now, there's one nugget of wisdom I've got to share, Narceus. With po wild Pokemon, can attack you at any time. When they do, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Look, just watch me, would you? <laughs> then you'll be able to copy what I do. Here I go! I wish I could do that in real life. I gotta learn how to dodge roll. When those shanks got me with Tundra Shock, I might have been done for if the security corps hadn't come and saved me. I mean, have you tried to do a dodge roll? Many times, yeah. Yeah, many times. Is that not what you're supposed to do during breaks? No, that's just stretching. If all the chat is doing dodge rolls during breaks, we're not going to get fit. We're just going to hurt ourselves. Oh, sick. Uh, Lando Candon. Thanks for the three mother. There we go. They're letting me go my own way. 
You can go your own way. Nope. You have to attack it. Yeah, I got my, uh... My bad. No way. No way. There it is. Oh, so you can't dodge. Oh, there's the uh, the turn order. Cool. All right, so we need to defeat Shinxes with quick attacks. That was one of our Pokedex uh, things. So I probably should have done Ember first. That's on me. This is so cool walking around mid battle. This has got to stick, dude. I don't want to play a Pokemon game where you can't do that. Uh, do you think that plant is harvestable? Yes. This is not harvestable yet. Is Dragon Age Inquisition worth playing? I actually played a bunch of Dragon Age Inquisition. My bad. Oh, throw a Pokemon at the rock. That's a good idea. I'll give it a shot. Hang in there, Tremonius. Oh, shoot. Okay, so for Tremonius to survive, we're going to have to do Ember again. I'll give you a potion, buddy. Can you go first person while battling? Shoot, I didn't even try, actually. Good job, Shanks. Get a little XP for that. Um, every die items, potion, use, harmonious. Great. Did I see that Sonic Unleashed is now 60 FPS on, on uh, Xbox Series? I thought that was old news, is it not? That doesn't seem like a new thing. Wow, this area is huge, actually. What a jump. Oh, Shinx is out? No, not Shinx. Okay, good luck, Shinx. They unlocked it so this is recent recent. They unlocked their frame rate with a patch and now it has no frame rate drips at all. Dips at all. That's crazy. Yes. Okay, so chat explains that the Pokemon doesn't have to hit the rocks exactly. They can just land near it to harvest it. Come on, bro. There we go. Damn. Hang in there, Tremonius. Tremonius taking damage. Nice. Good crit, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was defeat it with quick attack. It's just times you've seen it use quick attack. So it doesn't even matter which moves I do. Unless they're ground type, which I have none of. Okay, 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 okay.
Research level is still zero, though. This sucks. Why? I guess I should try catching more. You have to show the professor. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Continue the tutorial over my dead body. Bro, what a throw. What a throw! Bot. <laughs> Show controller. It was legit, chat. Legit throw. I'm not using an aimbot. Evie fled for me. Was that a rare was that a rare catch? Gotta get it that starly. be tricky oh don't battle don't battle there we go Ooh, too far it just bonked it huh shoot Okay, I'm having a pretty good time out here. Who are you, Notabi? Thank you for being a nine-monther. Who do you think that is out there? Nah, you knew better. I did. Nice. There's a Wurmple. Oh, bro. A Ponyta? I'm having a good time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was one we should not have tried to battle. Lesson learned. We're gonna have to craft some balls. <laughs> Mastering the uh, the throw is maybe my favorite part of this so far. Trying to get good at aiming, you know? It's fun. Uh, so what was it? It was like... If I view you and press down... I guess that's not quite what's happening. Mm, okay, we've got the number of forms obtained. Defeated. Alright, let's try to kill it. Focus with ZL first. Oh, to see their data? Gotcha. Just on Amazon Pokemon Arceus? Apparently in my mailbox! Have to go get it. Nice. You know what? We should be working on this Eevee. 
Who goes there? What are you? Oh, Badoof. <laughs> okay. Good luck, Eevee. Nice animation on that. No, nah, that's how rollout works. Giants just hired Dabol as head coach. That is so exciting. That is Bill's offensive coordinator, right? Farm those red rocks and acorn trees. They're how you craft Pokeballs. Don't have to tell me twice. Yeah, I don't know how to skip to, like, straight to... Bidoof. Number caught. Oh, we can get three. Let's catch it. Investigated the Bidoof that bother the village. Whoa. Whoops. <laughs> I guess I had already thrown the ball before I paused. Good luck, Eevee. Nice, Eevee. Forty forty. You have to be closer. Okay, copy that. Good stuff, Evie. This is fun, bro. They actually let me go off on my own. You can catch it in battle. Oh, you're right, I could have. So there was one for defeating- Oh! I don't think it's natural for Rapidash to have red eyes. This thing is gonna F us up. This thing is gonna F us up. So close. Stop it, game. You're being rude. Okay, it is definitely mad now. Oh! Agile style. Fire blast. I'm sorry, Eevee! Level 40? Oh, no. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. E no, we have to run. Got my Vivi choke though. That was sick. <laughs> that was really cool. Take the Vivi choke and run! <laughs> oh, so you cannot toss a fainted Pokemon. Yeah, that was sweet, man. Uh, you, this is the kind of thing you're hoping for. Uh, ultra overpowered Pokemon just out in the wilds. Um, so can we do crafting out here? Is that a thing I can do? Or do I have to go back to camp? Not yet. Okay. 
pretty much out of Pokeballs. Look at this Mime Jr. out here. Huge throw. Yeah, right! Get out of here, you little weirdo. We're catching you. You're just a baby. Yes! Recommend doing the tutorial so we can craft mobile. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we can head back. It's just like, if you let me explore, I'm going to do it, you know? We must have sent somebody back to the ranch already, right? Yeah. Grab. Got it. Rhombus! Thanks for being a 20 monther. Hi back at you. Is there a way for Pokemon to walk and follow you? No. This game's all about Pokeballs. It would destroy their lore if they could walk beside you. Keep your guard up, Badoof. Whoa. Level 2 Badoof just tanked that? Like, what is happening right now? Tremonius, kill this Badoof. Good work, buddy. Spoiled Apricorn. Cool. <gasps> nice, dude. I wonder how many Pokeballs I got left. I don't think Thundershock's a good idea right now. What is this? Strong style? What is that? This one's power effects can be boosted, but at the cost of making your next turn. Cool. Wow, that's cool. Holy moly. That's what you're talking about before when you're talking about turns. And so we can do a quick style too. That's actually useful for us. Friendly default, kind of. Yeah. Heck yeah. So I'm going to do another one of those. Alright, shoot. We're going to have to throw a Pokeball right there. Good luck. And then what do I do to throw it? L2. Style costs more PP. That's awesome, dude. That's good risk reward. I love it. And now we just gotta hope that Buizel is bigger than that guy's Buizel. Yes! Nope. That's not gonna do us much good. There we go. Booger. What happened to the girl from the beginning of the game? She went for a tougher look. She heard it's wild out there. So she got a gee. Yeah, right, dude. Shoot, I guess we gotta be faster, huh? <laughs> this game's awesome, dude.
Yeah, someone asked if I if I think this will be the template for future Pokemon games. I'm gonna be so disappointed if it isn't. This is maybe more fun than I had in the entirety of Sword and Shield. I love being out here. <laughs> no doubt it looks bad. I get it, chat. I get it. This looks disgusting, but it's just fun to be out here. Yeah, we know, bro. We're from the future. Final Sword ask. It does look a bit like Final Sword. Probably looks better in handheld mode. Probably. All right, so let's try a strong style quick attack. <laughs> Not worth it. Not worth it. You can... The weasel needs to be bigger than two foot seven. You can check it in the summary. Okay. Um, I don't think I can check the weasel I have though, because it's back at the ranch. Yeah. I wouldn't know how to check. Okay, bro. Uh-huh, focus on with ZL, then press down. Yeah, I guess you, that's what chat was telling me. You just gotta be close. More and more. Is Ray chat? Yeah, we should catch one more of these bad boys. But let me get back to camp, dude. Is that up here? Yes, dude. Check out my Pokedex, Professor. No. No. I don't want to return to the village, but I want you to check out my Pokedex. A little while. And I need to make a lot more Pokeballs. I want to save my Tumble Stones for, like, better stuff, though, you know? Alright, Ray, I'm coming. Oh, dang. Oh. <laughs> Not often I go three over, right? Neat. Hey, Badoof. We're gonna kill you. Well, actually, let me see if there's like a... Oh, no. My bad. Can you check the Pokedex mid-battle? It doesn't seem so. You can swap Pokemon at the guard, dude. Oh, cool. Let's get that Eevee out here. I think you have the Eevee. Oh, yeah, the Eevee died. Let's get uh, the Weasel out here. 
Oh, I should catch that Badoof. Nice. Move mastered. Cool, dude. Yeah, I think we're not supposed to have mastered moves yet. I think there's probably a moment where they really intend to explain that to you. Come on by. I want to switch my Pokemon. With one of my Bidoofs. And then, honestly... I'm thinking about Mom Jr. We could use a psychic fairy. I kind of want to stick with one Bidoof because it's not too hard to evolve it. Make him a mister. Exactly. Mom Jr., we're gonna make you a mister. <laughs> uh, so babies normally evolve through happiness. I wonder how that works in this game. Vitruvian, we're getting to where, like, I'm really having a good time with the game. We're still in heavy tutorial phase, but they let me wander around for a long time. Like, we don't have to do this right now. Number you've caught without being spotted. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Easy catch, bro. Kotaku's got a, one of those How to Evolve Pokemon in Arceus articles. I only skimmed through it, but apparently there's some crazy ones you gotta do for some new Pokemon. I love that. Alright, so let me know if I have a Pokemon that has crazy evolution requirements in the party. Let me know about it. Turn your switch upside down. Yeah, I love that. That's NK. You have to dip Bidoof in the river sticks by the tail. Oh, I bet nobody's tried that yet. That's why they think Bidoof doesn't evolve in this game. Chat, did you try that yet? Oh, he's mad. <laughs> You're not cute. This thing thinks it's cute. Thanks, Grassy. It is cute. Mm, chat. Incorrect. Ooh, mine junior uh, leveled up. This might be a dangerous spot. Shinxie's about. Hello, Shinxie.
So like right now, oh no, God. Oh no, Mime Junior, get out of there. Jinx me, Jinx. No, 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 no. Why would it be you? Oh, like I have to throw it. Got it, cool. There was one, um, see a Shinx do bite. Does your own Shinx count? It does count. Oh my god. I, for some reason, I didn't even think of it that way. I'm so dumb. Right now, I am observing a Shinx doing bite. You know, that's, that's awesome. Keep looking around. We got to learn the recipe for uh, potions, too. That would be nice. Poor chat. They're like, Kyle, if you just... um Follow the tutorial, you'll be fine. We need a glider for that yellow plant over there. See it? We might be able to get this... Uh... Viva something. Forgot what it was called. Vivacor? Iron Chunk! You can move freely during the battles? It is so cool. You can, in fact. Did they retcon this to be the original Pokedex? It's not even implied that this is the first ever Pokedex. The professor does not claim to have made up that phrase. I should catch this one. Sure. So then we do uh, X, L, R. That rapid dash was scary. It's fun to watch stuff like that. Yeah, man. Find stuff like that. Exactly. I'm excited to go back. You know, when we're when we're properly leveled to get it too. And honestly, not even properly leveled. We're gonna go back to that rapid vivid choke. We're going to go back to that Rapidash the second I'm level 30. Yeah, like a mountain goat. We got this. We got this. We got this. Yep. Sideways. Sideways. Sideways is key. Sideways is key. You got this. Oh. Don't think we can cheese our way up there. I'll try a little longer. Isn't the lore that Professor Oak invented the Pokedex? Yeah. That is the lore. He's a fraud, it turns out. <laughs> oh, we might not survive this fight. It's these level three Shinxies. Grit dust. Huh? You got any grit dust? Look at Mime Junior leveling up. <laughs> Into the tree, Mimey. Bro, this map is so huge. I can't believe it. Ooh. We got a new bad boy out there. But look at those rare materials. I see what you see, my friend. Shoot, we're going to risk it, aren't we? We're going to risk it all. Hold the throw animation. You will go faster on steep hills. What's this little Pikachu melody happening there? What is that? <laughs> okay. Speak. Well, ain't that cute? That's a Silcoon?
You can throw more than one out at a time. That's really cool. I guess I should catch it. You should. It will die next turn. Yeah, well, you know, everything helps your Pokedex, even defeating a bug warp. During daylight hours. Oh my gosh, you dumb game. <laughs> I'm having a good time, brother. Okay, uh... These butter are free. Do you think we have to fight them? I think we have to fight them. Okay. David Aniki, thank you for being a 14-monther. Is Brian Dabol the right man to lead the Giants back to the Super Bowl? I thought Joe Judge was going to do a good job. Um, There's a missing piece in personnel still. That being a quarterback. Level 21! No effect on Shanks, who's a lightning type. We got this, Shanksy. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Tank one more hit, can you? Yeah, sure. Beef your defense up. We have special attack, baby. Huge, 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 huge. Okay. Beautiful. And now we're going to catch it. Damn. No, my precious jinx. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Um Mime Jr., you got to tank some hits, okay? Oh my god, you poor thing. Okay. Defensive buffs buff both defensive stats now. That makes sense because the the second electric attack didn't do as much damage. Dazzling honey. That's my nickname. Good shit, Mime Jr., who is now level 13 because we beat that one... Uh, Butterfree. That's crazy, dude. We gotta pull it out of the fields. What is the meaning of this swamp? I bet at nighttime or something happens. Or... <laughs> that was so much XP. Should we try it again? No, unfortunately, we need our electric power to get that much progress on it. We got a little lucky. But I'll take these resources, bro. Black tumble stone. Hell yeah. And check that out. Shinx is actually getting XP even though it's KO'd. The giant onyx. I hear ya. Anything but Whale Lord, I'm cool with. Not radical. Thanks for being a 20 monther. Oh, hey there, big old chat. Hey there, big old chat. Kyle's having so much fun, he doesn't realize that I'm grinding the game. This is not grinding, how dare you. I'm exploring. Mime Jr., you need to stop this poor behavior. Time to mine, Junior. I think I need to be closer. Oh, he's like hitting the back. Come on, buddy. Okay, 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 we're fine, we're fine. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, okay. Okay. 
Nice. Steady. Perfect. What the heck? Okay. Mime Jr. was never up for the job. That was a human's job. There's more uh, resources up here, but I think we're probably unable to do it with our current build. All right, we should get back to camp and um, heal up. <laughs> this level 13 Mime Jr., though, I'm stoked about this. That was an interesting call, huh? Oh, it's the giant, um... Shanks. That thing would really F us up. Okay, let's get back to camp. <laughs> Luxio, thank you. Luxray. It's Shinx, Luxio, Luxray is the final evolution. Got it. Hot or cold on this game? I'm, uh, piping hot right now. You can't go any farther. Getting colder. But pretty hot on it. You can fast travel? Oh, if I, like, press select, go back to the camp. Gotcha. Cool. Let's get our butter free. Oh, no, no, no. I, uh, I'm sorry. I'll stay up. Who is switching out, though? Probably this poor Buizel, dude. Yeah. What, at what level does Bidoof evolve? If it's like 15, it can stay in the party. Beautifully won't listen to you? We can still use it to tank. It's so useful to have something that's like tw 10 levels above your next thing. Bidoof evolves at level 40? No, it is 15. Okay, okay. So Bidoof stays. Um, shoot, Eevee goes. Sorry, Eevee. We need uh stones, obviously, for you to evolve, so. Okay. Oh, we should see if I can do I need to um I need to learn how to make potions. <laughs> yeah, man, this is fun. I'm really glad. Okay, so we're still in tutorial phase, right? And earlier they were like, what are you doing? Follow me. I'm so glad they just let me go off right now. Oh, fall damage exists. Eevee can evolve to Espeon or Umbreon too. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. We didn't talk about... Nice. Uh happiness too much because i was wondering about mime jr so does happiness just kind of work passively like in other games my eevee evolved into sylveon oh my god that'd be so sick Better Pokeballs use the other stone type, so I think you can just use more of those materials. Okay, so there's no real reason to uh, keep hold on to those. Good kill, my junior. Hell yeah. <laughs> you make me proud. Is this a finish on stream game? Still too early to say. 
Oh, look at that tree shaking. There's an eye palm in there. Or a hair across, bro. <laughs> Go on ahead. Okay, so we got to uh, not kill this one in one hit. We got to see what it can do. I should see what the iron defense mastery does. What's the point? Strong style effects boosted, but at the cost of your next turn. Cool. Oh my god, what a beastly beast. Yes! Loafing around! It doesn't trust me yet. It doesn't trust me yet. You're right, it won't listen to me completely. Obey! Obey me. Okay, so now I should try to kill the weasel. Okay, you've had your fun, beautifully. Shut up. Who moves that? Uh, I did it wrong. So now you do this and then this. So cool. Thunder shock. I think we need more bites. It's level two. Let's do it. Oh, you know what? I should catch it. It might be a big boy. <laughs> it looked at me. <laughs> Defense bonus only lasts a set number of turns now. You're right. That was weird. As you see it use bite we need a few more of those five more um that's a huge shift actually think about what that would mean for like swords dance that's scary statuses too wow so I like that, um... It's like a testing grounds, right? They're playing with some concepts here. Dangerous concepts. Ball of mud. Oh, that's probably for like tossing and lowering accuracy. You're fine. You're fine. I don't want to hear it. Yes. Hope that was a big boy. Large specimens. <laughs> I'm catching large specimens, chat. Uh, let's use a potion. Uh, we should get to the main objective. I got so distracted this way, bro. Look at all this. Stick with the objectives. Okay. All right. What do we still need for Redoof, I wonder? This. This. We have to evolve one. We have to defeat ten, but we're six away from that. Heavy specimens. Oh, my God. All right. Let's just catch it and hope that it's heavy.
Yesterday I dreamt baseball. Are my dreams coming true tomorrow? No. No, tomorrow we're playing It Takes Two with Damiani. He's not going to understand baseball. He's not going to get it. We have to be nice to our guest. Damiani likes real baseball, not anime baseball. Well, he likes anime, too. Actually, I don't know if Damiani likes anime. You know how, like, if you like anime, you have to put up with some bullshit? I feel like Damiani just wouldn't. I feel like he won't, doesn't put up with that stuff. Legend of Korra is not anime chat, please. We're not having that discussion on this channel. I'm not digging into that one. Nice. Teach me how to make potions, bro. That's what I'm most curious about right now. Yes! Huge! One orange berry, one medicinal leak. I hope we have those. Orange berries, I mean. We have a ton of leaks. Migos! Thanks for being a 12-monther. Uh, praise be Lingua. Can't believe it's been a year. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Okay. We have a slow nod in this game. FF14 is just a... But this one's very slow. Yeah, I got 57 to turn in, bro. See you soon. <laughs> this game is this game is so cool, dude. Cyrax, thanks for being a six monther. Um, all right, so let's try fast travel for the first time. Yes, cool. It's hog, okay, Chad. I haven't checked in on Hog in quite some time. Since we streamed last. Earn money. Bro, you're gonna be impressed. Yeah, look at look at all of this, dude. I've got I I found so many Pokemon in I I got a Butterfree. 20 or more in one report. Nice. That's scary, actually. Is there is there more than 20? I actually don't like that, because a lot of people would just, you know, like, turn in frequently and not know that you'd be rewarded for, uh... Time to buy the red headbands. I'm thinking about it. So Cyndaquil's done. Bidoof is done. Starly's still not done, and that's one of our side quests, actually. We gotta finish Starly. Research level 9, though. We're close. This is... This is... So sick. Time you've seen it use Mimic. Okay, let's use a bunch of Mimics out there. Times you've given it food? Oh, we're about to stuff you up, little buddy. 
Evolving three Mime Juniors is obscene. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I got an achievement for 30 plus in one report. Okay, so it seems like we should hold off on our reports then. Do these tasks feel like padding? So, no. And I, I, I wish I had understood this sooner. Um, you get to choose which ones you want to focus on. I was very concerned it would feel like padding, but you don't have to, like, you don't... We, we will never have to evolve three Mime Juniors to complete the entry for Mime Junior, which I thought we would. Can you rate the evolutions? No. Glaceon number one, though. Whoa. What a transition. Is that just for extra money when you report? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that achievement that we got for 20 plus reports had nothing other than Dosh attached to it. Copy that. Got a strut when talking to the boss. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you have progress to report. I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Oh, you're going to be shocked. Yeah, I saw a Rapidash. It almost killed me. What do you think? <laughs> you have made progress. Seems you have earned yourself a star. Contact with Galar confirmed because of the wheezing on the building. We were talking about that earlier, Kyle. I feel like they just like to drop shit around to deconfirm that the cannon makes any sense in the first place. They like to be careless. With this, you have officially attained. Though, uh, the professor we talked to is probably from Galar. So it's not like, it's not like, it's not like it's impossible. You've attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. Yes. Just a few more to go. How do I feel about the game being an isekai? It was very upsetting up front. You can now use heavy balls. Up to level 20, so our Butterfree still won't listen to us. Little kitten bit, thanks for gifting a sub there. Revives, nice. Vivid chokes are for revives. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent. Hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through our ranks. Something anyone can understand. Keep at it. <laughs> They're talking about gamers right there. And even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself, yeah. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Slow nod. Yeah, no gym badges in this. So yeah, it seems like stars is what will allow you to have higher ranked Pokemon.
Has I, have I been taking a knee a lot? Sure. Yeah, there's a first person button. You've earned yourself a, a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Can we get that headband now? Yeah. We can afford it. So, Arceus, my girl, I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first rank star. Our usual order of potato mochi tastes even better when there's something to celebrate. Hey, by the way, have you taken on that request Beauregard had? Yeah, I think they, that was his name. Well, most people here don't know much about Pokemon. You've noticed that, right? So it's our job as Survey Corps to take care of any issues that crop up because of that. We're basically Pokemon problem solvers. Indeed so. Some people will ask for your help when you talk with them, while others will request will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Ray? What's it all about? Huh, <laughs> that one? Might be a better fit for Arceus than me. Beauregard is how you that, okay. I don't think I'll be able to pull it off unless I get better at Pokemon battling first. <laughs> ah, yes. That request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before Galaxy Team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. We can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. <laughs> so they did. They stopped talking for the rest of that meal. The next day. Yeah, man, I even like, I kind of like the story. Not the part about us coming from the future and having Arceus pull us out of our world and into existence here, but like, we have a very simple path to progression. As they just said, anyone could understand it. <laughs> and so, like... I'm pretty into that. I'm pretty into what's been presented so far in terms of, like... This village and its expansion and trying to learn more about Pokémon. It's kind of an exciting time. Pokemon being strange, dangerous thing is fun. It is, yeah. Hey Arceus, before I go meet Mai about that request, mind showing me how you do in battle? <laughs> oh, yup. You're gonna get crushed, Ray. You're not ready for this, bro. Didn't you request this exact same thing and Brandon plays Pokemon? I wonder. I definitely have been requesting the right analog stick for a long time. <laughs> Just being able to do this right here. Ooh, huge improvement. I feel like I'm in this village, you know? So how cool is this? I wonder if they just pluck a random selection of what you've caught. Because I have to assume it'd get ridiculous at a certain point. This is a treat, though. This is a huge improvement over the PC. I want to talk to this guy and see if um, my Buizel is heavy enough. Hey, bro. My Buizel. Yeah, that's enough, right? You said two foot seven was the limit? This one is not big enough. 
This one's not big enough. So the one in my party is the one that's big enough. That's sick. Yeah, my Buizel's huge, bro. Your Buizel sucks. <laughs> Look how the tip of the little one's snout points up when it looks at us. What a precious little thing. And the big one's flotation sack. There's something reassuring about how large it is. Don't you think? <laughs> no! <laughs> Funny how Pokemon on the same species seem so different depending on which one's bigger. Keeping an eye on Pokemon sizes when you're catching them might spice up your excursions. Thank you for the favor. I know you survey core folks work no joke, so keep at it. I'll be rooting for you. Yes! XP candy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So that's a rare can- is that a rare candy, but not even that chunky? Honestly, that's probably how rare candies should work, right? They were in Sword Shield. Okay. Man, I forgot about that. Bro, what are you doing? Is there not a trainer? A gym leader who has a haircut identical to this? Whoa. In exchange for a fee. Is this worth it? This is very Monster Hunter to me. Gardenia. Yeah, the bug girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Uh, let's pull up an image. She's from Diamond and Pearl. It can't be a coincidence then. Oh, chat, you're gonna freaking love this. What a callback, dude. That's so fun. Dude. Just give me the PNG. Don't be rude. Just give me that PNG. No, no web page. I want a PNG. Check that out. Isn't that fun? I hope I hope for more stuff like that, dude. <laughs> Wait till web three, so I'd have to pay for Gardenia. I gosh, Chad, I actually think that's pretty cool. Um I feel like this wouldn't be too helpful at this point. Generic hairstyle? What are you talking about? It's got black lines in the exact same spots. Asset flip? You're... Chad, I'm about to lose my mind. They said genetic. Oh, genetic. Gotcha. Dude, that is, that is so cool. Genetic hairstyle. <laughs> Let me know if I'm missing any of those. I'm sure they're all over the place. Let me know if one slips by that I don't catch. He's ready for a battle. Um, I'm going to need to take a quick break before we do this battle, actually. It's break time anyway? Oh, perfect. Dang, it's been two hours since our last break. Evil boss dude is Professor Rowan. Oh, like a young version. MDS Veritas, thanks for being an 18 monther. Love these kind of details. It makes you feel like the devs are really into what they're making. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And that he is the farmer, you know what I mean? That there's even like um a connection through that way. That's that makes that fun. 
Okay, cool. So let's take that quick break. And uh, we'll keep playing. The game is rolling now, dude. Piping hot now. Is that the Team Galactic logo on the lantern? Oh my gosh, how radical. We work for Team Galactic. Basically. It's it's weird. It's very weird. Same haircut. Stand by. No, okay, alright. Why do I click on your links, chat? Alright, so... <laughs> We'll be, we'll be right back. Why you calling me honey? Why you show off your money? Wave it like it's a tissue. Baby, this is your issue. I'm not falling for bullshit. If you like me, then say it. You don't get that I see you through. This facade that surrounds you. Growing up takes time.
I'm pretty fired up, chat. I'm pretty fired up right now. Mucho's great. Ready Prince Jr. is playing Dungeons and Dragons on G4 right now. That's so cool. What happened? This Pokemon game. This is why I'm fired up. <laughs> he just said thanks for taking a moment. What a nice guy. Everything all right? I just can't do it. What's wrong? That's right. Take a look at my very own partner. Pikachu? Why do all the Pikachus canonically say Biga? <laughs> this happened when we played uh, Colosseum too. Hey, bro. No. Get your paws off that. He's getting a little pushy with the desk. And I need, I need to make these boundaries clear. Mucho is not allowed to play with anything on the desk. Would I say I've caught more Pokemon in this game already than all of Sword and Shield? Honestly, probably, yeah. During that Shinx attack, I should have had Pikachu fight by my side, but my mind just went blank. And really, when you get right down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? <laughs> He's so right, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Asking the right questions. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Biga. <laughs> He's scared of you, bro. <laughs> Little kid bit has a birthday request? Yours? Happy birthday, little kid bit. Well, Mucho's back in. Good boy. Good boy. You heard me, you're a good boy. I want to do my survey core work well. My partner and I have got to be a team. And our first step toward being a real team is to battle your team. Terumi Chiron, I have I never actually want to see the Pokemon War. Oh, Mime Jr.'s up? Okay. Oh, we're so overleveled for this anyway. Ooh, uh. I don't even have the the move Mimic yet. Okay, we're gonna get you out of there, buddy. No, we're not. You're gonna fight. Watch this. What a clutch little one. What a clutch little one. Oh my goodness. Ooh. That was risky. So we did a beefed up version of Confusion. I should have seen like how it affected uh, its damage. You played Uncharted on PS5. It's amazing. Is it really different? Monster MJ, can you actually tell the difference? I mean, obviously you can. He won't be afraid of his Pikachu after this one. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> he got a good hit in, though. He got a good hit in. K 
Can I dedicate one measly hour to shiny hunting? No, I don't do that. Shinies have to f happen upon you. Can I get an oh no for the two feet of snow falling on us in New England tomorrow? Thing is, I love snow, and I would want that. So unfortunately, you're getting a... Woo! What do I think so far? I'm having a great time. I'm, ha I'm actually really enjoying this game. You summoned a tiny baby clown and smacked his Pikachu. <laughs> a tiny baby clown. Oh, yeah. Ray's never going to be the same after that one. Do I feel like this game will crack my top three Pokemon games? I feel like we're jumping the gun a little bit. Um, but what somebody said, like the last nine years, it might be. I might agree to that already. Uncharted is 120 FPS on PS5 and performance plus mode. Whoa. And we're talking Uncharted 4, right? That's wild. We'll just have to catch up as best we can, right, Pikachu? Bega. <laughs> Fair enough. What is that? What did it say? Pikachu's got a bit of a tendency to attack, you see. That's why he normally stays in his ball. I guess the first step for Pikachu and me might be getting a little friendlier with one another. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have these things called types. <laughs> I love this, dude. Which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu here seems to be an electric type, for example. Bega. Cute, dude. Go ahead, take a picture with your phone. That's not the whole chart, though. There it is. Oh my god. If this is your first Pokemon game, how overwhelmed are you right now? I wouldn't even want to see this. <laughs> Don't show me this. So you're the one. That new recruit everyone's talking about. The name's Zisu. Captain of the Security Corps. Zisu's huge. I see you got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zisus, hmm? Chat? A master of an ancient martial art where you guide Pokemon in battle. Now listen. If your Pokemon has truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. <laughs> I know. Zisu is the ancestor of Gen 4 Elite 4 Flint. Let's see about that. That's no stretch. You know what? I feel like I should just keep Bulbapedia open so we can go and bounce back to this frequently. Stand by. Come on. I see it. It's the hair. It's the poof poofy hair. Checks out. Captain Zisu, didn't you see how I just won that? On the other hand, if you choose to unleash a move in the Agile style, such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokémon can act more quickly afterward. 
It truly, in truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little notch. You know what's crazy? Is I think about how this is going to impact the uh, trading card game. There's no question to me that this is going to um, be integrated into the TCG. I know you were enjoying callbacks, but how would would you feel about the small world syndrome of everyone in this game being an ancestor of a Sinnoh character? It's, it's not everyone. It's not everyone. I agree it'd be kind of crazy if every single trainer in Diamond and Pearl has somebody connected to him here. Uh, but also, we've seen enough other NPCs, so it's not like everybody. How many stars do you need to, to feel that we've earned fancy hair? We'll need a fancy outfit to go with the fancy hair. I think I think like fancy hair is going to be end game for us. Rapid strike and single strike is already in TCG. I know, yeah. And now fusion strike. So I feel like there's no way this gets ignored, right? Usually TCG is pretty far after the games, though. It's only 100 years difference, so it's not really like it'd be that far off. Yeah. Yeah, it's like 120. 120, 140 years. I love this mechanic, really. I'm actually pretty impressed with how much they're goofing around with the, um, the fighting mechanics. And I almost feel like they're using this game as an offshoot to, like, play around and see what they can get away with in the mainline games. They're doing some crazy stuff. That buffs and debuffs wear off is huge. I know it, I know it doesn't sound huge to anybody who just plays RPGs, but, like, it completely walks out the whole way that, like, competitive Pokemon is played. One more thing, if you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know! <laughs> okay, <laughs> I want to do that. <laughs> you remember, I, I mentioned it earlier, I'm heading down now to see about Mai's request. I'm supposed to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come along too. Get ready, then meet us down there, would you? And by ready, I mean double checking that Pokemon you'll bring. And maybe even teaching them some new moves from Zizu. Yeah, all right. Let's see um let's see if we can do a mystery gift right now. Looks like it. Yes. Lost and found. I wonder what that's about. Get via internet? Z Dawn, next week in a nine monther. Searching for gifts. This is me every day. Clothing gift. Um, I did get an email from Nintendo that because I bought this digitally, I got 20 free heavy balls. And they, like, gave me a password to enter. I don't think we have to do that. <laughs> that felt very special. Fancy kimono, fancy bottoms, baneful fox mask. Cool. Why heavy? Uh, well, we needed one star to be able to use heavy balls, so maybe that's what that was. Would Kyle battling chat and Pokemon be fun? No, I don't get the meta enough. New moves. Mime Jr. Oh, so she's a tutor. Okay, okay, okay. This is not like a crazy... Whoa, but you pay Poke Dollars for it. Aerial Ace? What do you think, Chad? Is that worth it?
This is what I'm talking about. Chat knows the meta way more than I do. For sure, do it. Yeah, that's kind of good. Rest is not useful for us because we're not playing meta. You know what I mean? We can heal anytime we want. Getting through my backlog, playing through Spider-Man Miles Morales right now. Just wanted to say I'm enjoying your deep dive with MinMax that you did. Ben seems like a really cool guy. He is. I definitely regret I messed up my audio on both of those deep dives. I'm like a little delayed. I feel really bad about that still. This is our headband money. Wow, this is so cool. Um, to be honest with you, everyone else is pretty much temporary. Why do we only have five people in the party right now? Did somebody die? What happened? <gasps> I gave that guy my weasel? No! No, he just took it? Chat confirms he took my weasel. Oh my god. Oh, that hurts so bad. He just wanted to stare at it. Oh. Oh, that really hurts. It gave you a warning. I skipped through it. Oh my god. How big are the others? Tiny. Minuscule. One is an inch shorter. Oh, that feels so bad. Okay. Alright, I'm okay. I'm okay. But, like, I'm definitely hurt. <laughs> Let's get Eevee in, actually. Let's get Eevee in. Baby doll eyes? Offensive. Man. I, but, like, so something like this. So now, when it says offensive attacks, it means attack and special attack. It means both. This stuff is wild. That's such that's such a huge change to the entire like usefulness of moves like that. Wobbuffet probably crushes in this game. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I'm going to hold off, though. A little pricey. And we're Dragon Smackers. Seed of Mastery. Whoa. I should see what items those are, actually. We have some of that grit. It's used to raise effort levels only up to level 3, however. Whoa! Whoa! We're talking about EVs? Is this something I should be using? Oh my god. The, the, oh, I'm intimidated, bro. Wow. I'm intimidated. Do you sell things yet? I want to trade Pokemon? Ah, cool. Shrine Guardian, watch over us. It's just Arceus. Tell me. Watch as you wish. Uh, lose fewer items. Faintless frequently. Stay in good health. Just lose fewer items? No. Stay in good health. No. What do the charms do? Just be honest with me.
Nice. Huh. Three thousand! Get out of here! What a racket. Noble Meyer, thanks for being a 14 monther. Um just now joining the stream, approximately what percentage of this game is about big powerful monsters stepping on you? We haven't gotten to that yet. Don't forget to equip Aerial Ace. Thanks for that, looking out. Should we jump back into Let's Go Pikachu instead? Very condescending. I deserve that. There's a new item that lets you evolve trade evolutions without a trade. Oh, would I buy that from right here? Uh-oh. Shoot. That linking cord. Cute, dude. That's so cool. Dubious disc. Porygon is in this? Now that makes no sense. Porygon is going to F their minds up. They're not going to want to see my Porygon. Well, shoot, we can get a Glaceon right now. Damn. I'm pretty tempted to do that. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Let's, um, but I've had a Glaceon before. Let us, um, let's actually think about what we want our Eevee to be. This guy can have one of my Wurmples. Beauregard? Take the level four one, dude. No. Yeah, let him have it. Okay. <laughs> it's cute, dude. Wurmple is unfortunately one of several Pokemon with a butt face. He's really thinking about that name. Which of these do you like best? Beauticia, Beautifred, or Beugene? <sighs> I'm afraid I really love Beugene. Oh, we have more uh, NPC clawbacks? Sorry I keep missing those, Leo. General store owner, okay. The Clothier is a reference too. Okay, let's go let's go talk to each of them. Oh, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. We'll go we'll go right up to him. Good luck, Eugene. Thanks for the honey, bro. What does honey do? I actually like have it in my inventory. It is beloved by bug Pokemon and Pokemon with fairy-like charms, so they will gather wherever a comb is thrown. Cool, bro. Ooh. This is this is practically an ideal Pokemon game. <laughs> this is practically something that I love to death. All right, Evie, you're in, buddy. All it needs is to look better. Yeah, a little bit of that. And also, you know, it, it, we do just have the one town. This guy. Same damn do. And then the general store. Karen. 
no doubt. That's fun. It tracks. Those are cool. Same person aged? Nah, there's more time in between. This one's gotta be somebody then, right? He's got such unusual green hair. Oh, uh, the Eevee. Okay, okay, okay. Let's look at our team's makeup right now. What do we want this Eevee to be? We don't have any grass types. I kind of like the idea of Leafeon. I've never had a Leafeon. Sylveon, I don't think we can just buy a stone for, right? Go grass or water. Yeah, we'll get a water type. I miss Buizel. I'm in for Leafeon. Chat, you convinced me. I'm doing Leafeon. I miss that Buizel. That hurts. Merit points? Hold on. How do I get merit points? War height? Thanks for the 19 monther. There's a mossy rock in the wild area that will let your EV evolve there. Okay, cool. You need to find a lot of lost items for multiplayer to buy items from her. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? A thousand dollars for a stone is super cheap, so that makes sense. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. I have no interest. No, 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 no. Okay. Sorry, let me check one more time to make sure there's no open quests. Yeah, we're good. General store. We should. I never actually like talked to the general store guy. Oh, we gotta buy the headband. I'd like new shoes, but I don't want sandals. We'll keep your eyes peeled. I like how thick our current shoes are. The mossy stone is a big stone like an actual landmark. Okay, we'll keep your eyes peeled for it. We'll find it. So lost items are just things that are just kind of popping around around the map if you're like if you're logged in online. You got the new clothes too. Oh my gosh, I forgot about those. We should at least look at them. You got me, Volo. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokémon, you see. Uh, it's what I call the secret back strike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once a battle starts. Well, cool. Chad already told me that, bro. Marvelous rich tone. I must know how it's produced. Cricketot? No, I hate Cricketot. Okay. Alright. Okay.
Jubi Life Village. Can we go to other people's homes? You can. Loading is not too bad. I agree. I guess there's no point in it right now, but that's kind of neat. Volo is the ancestor of the Gen 4 champion, Cynthia. This one might be a stretch. Nah, we're not buying it. We're not buying it. Baneful wolf mask, show me. Oh, no. That's the new Zora, right? It's funny they call it Baneful Wolf. Uh, Growlithe? Dang, that's kind of cool. Cool. Obviously, we'll be sticking with our gi. But that's a cool little thing to get for free. Rar DK64, thanks for the 15 monther. Pokemon, let's go Arceus. We need new shoes, we do. Are we missing stuff in the upper left corner? Not normally, no. Survey core girl. Yeah, I got a lot of those. Very helpful. It's fun that we actually uh, activated some side quests just from going in and out that fast. Happy to help. Revive. Nice, dude. That's our first revive. So are there other people in town now? Yeah. Cheat code, bro. Check this out. Eugene is like actually hanging out now. Spooky things come out at night, by the way. Sick. Yeah, I feel like we had to, like, unlock nighttime. Oh, yeah, the board. He talked to, to me about this. Um, In the training mode, it, like, wouldn't become night. Seems a band of bothersome Bidoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Smogi from the security corps and see if you can help things get in order. Okay, cool. Smogi? Oh, splendid. No, I'm looking for Sumogi, not Radisa. I'm looking for a pickling stone. Oh, I've not found a pickling stone. <laughs> There's a Pokemon called Jill Dude that <laughs> lives on Deer Track Heights. It'd be perfect for the job. Yep. You got it. Geodude is going to become your pickling stone. That seems so messed up, dude. I don't know what a pickling stone is. But I don't like that. Sanqua. Sanqua's probably a reference, right? Sanqua's got a distinct style. Um. Shoot, I don't know who that person in the security core is. She's by the gate. Okay, cool.
You can hit Y on the map to select the mission marker. Cool. But it's not lighting up anywhere. Oh, it's right there. Sorry, I really wanted to check out the wheel. So cool. There we go. Those darn Bidoof. <laughs> I'll kill them. I'll go kill them. No problem. You want to catch them? Okay. So if you bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I can seize that chance to catch a little Troublemakers. Okay. Fortunately, our Bidoof has not evolved yet. It sounds like you have an invisible stamina meter, right? She'll dash for a second, but then she's like, huh. This is a cool quest, dude. Find the troublesome Bidoof. This quest took you a while. The pop-in doesn't help, for sure. Dang, look at this town. This is cool. There's some money in this building, dude. Team Galaxy is up to no good. Galaxy team, I suppose. What, are you too cool now? What's going on? Fight it. Chomp chomp. <sighs> this is a better side quest than anything I did in Sword and Shield. Where's the Bidoof? Oscar. Yeah, I wonder if there's any point to entering these rooms. So far, nothing. But maybe there's like cool stuff pops in them eventually. Gotcha. What about that 100 Diglett side quest? That was a good one. That was a good side quest. <laughs> That's a Bidoof. This is so cool. Can 
Can I go back here? You can. Whoa. Can I climb that ladder? You cannot. Okay. How neat, dude. How's this game so far now that we're out of tutorials? Really good. Really, really good. Currently, I'm on a mission to scour the town for troublesome Bidoof. <laughs> it's good. I already checked behind this building, right? Yeah. Okay. Bidoof? Cha choo Cha choo TNT kid, thanks for being a seven monther. Bidoof hype. Haven't seen you live in a while. Enjoy the VODs. Thanks for what you do. Thank you, TNT kid. Thanks for watching those VODs. Okay. The Bidoof. Is this way. Y'all seen a Bidoof? So we got one there. And we got one closer. So we've gotten two on the south end of town. Right? You get the vibes. That there'd be one to the northern side of town. I had a strong urge to shatter that rock. I'm mostly a VOD lurker as well. Nice to watch live for a change. Thanks, A Blank. I am playing docked. I thought you only needed two. Oh. Shoot. I guess you're right. Look at that. I think this mission's done, isn't it? You need to find all three. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, hey. Well, that worked out for us. It was on the north side of town. Man, Badoof, you were so well hidden. Because it's butt out. Butt out makes it way harder to find. If they had their eyes out, it'd be too easy. <laughs> nice work that puts all these little troublemakers safely in our custody now to give them the old heave ho no hold on it'd be a shame to just send those bidoof back into the wild no my construction core could find a use for them huh you want to keep them but these nasty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction core they're just Pokemon being Pokemon, okay? How are they supposed to know our village is a strict no-chewing zone? Did you tell them that? Shows some good t shows good taste on their part to come all the way here to gnaw on our woodwork, too. But they're gonna stay here. They'll have to help with our work, okay? They got they got the guts to keep trying to get in the village, plus the teeth to gnash through, tr gnash through trees and rocks. Just what our core needs. Another ancestor. This one better be real. Yeah, I'll buy this one. Oh, for sure, because they're stupid pants. The pants flow through the blood, too. So look at the... Shoot. Uh, ponytail. Of the woman talking to us. Got the same ovals that appear on her... Uh...
the pants of Karen. Belt. Yeah, okay, they're belt. It's a belt. It's a thin belt. It's a thin belt. <laughs> How about little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know? <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm not convinced this uh, lot have it in them to do an honest day's work but sank was watching over them sure it'll work out all right well i guess that's settled thanks again for your help so what's crazy about that mission right there is that it's actually contributing to badoof's pokedex entry my satchel is full damn so let's um Let's use our EV powder. Problem is, I think the only person sticking around... Let's put out EV. Okay. Whoa, dude. This is crazy. And they just show you? Woo. I'm I'm choosing special attack because we're dragon smackers. Do we feel good about that? Just guy here has the game really good. Uh, does Eevee have a weakness in defense or special defense? I really like how they rework Eevees in this game. I know this is crazy. Leafeon in particular. Okay, so if we got Leafeon, do we need crazy special defense? We probably do. I'm going to put one in special defense. It's not our dra dragon smacker way. Okay, you're right. We smack dragons. Oh, you can't do it beyond three. All right. And then we can sell the stardust. Nice, okay. Then we got some space. Ooh, that's pretty valuable, actually. Do you think we'll see Red, Brock, or Misty's ancestors? Great question. My answer is no. EXP candy on EV2? I guess we could. Yeah, let's do it. Eevee. Nice. Okay, so we're going to continue the main story, but I also want to find that mossy rock. Have I caught any alpha Pokemon yet? I assume that's the red-eyed one. Uh, we ran into a Rapidash with red eyes that was level 40. <laughs> Which, as you can see, is far above where we're at right now. Um... Actually, we'll, we'll stack up. This guy looks like Link. So, no, I've not caught any alphas. Not ready. Not ready. The Luxray I didn't even run into. I have no idea what level that one's at. Really happy for Kyle and Pokefans in general that Arceus seems to have largely delivered. It's also making for great peripheral viewing as I lab biking. Nice. Good luck. Mushroom cake. Okay. Let's see it. If people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, um, okay. We don't have any mushrooms. But, Doof, are we, like, pretty good, dude? In terms of... Oops, my bad. <laughs> keep it, keep battling by accident. Did we already get Kyle's thoughts on a new McDonald's menu? 
Okay, so there's no reason level 11 would do that little damage to level 2. I think chat's right. I think some attacks just don't do as much damage to make catching easier in this game. What's going on with the McDonald's menu? I didn't hear about this. Oh, and Bidoof is done in our Pokedex right now. Starly is not. We do need to finish up Starly, especially because we got a side quest for Starly. Touch throw, bro. Oh! You can mash up menu items, like putting fish fillet and McChicken in a Big Mac. Okay, so that one definitely saw us. It did not count toward the no seas. I need more Pokeballs. I think I'm too far away right now. Let's let it hop forward a little bit. Hop forward a little bit. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. They call it Land, Air, Sea? The, po the McDonald's menu? That's too wild for me. I have no takes on this. I'd have to do some research. Oh, it stopped walking. Oh, we got your back. Oh, I guess that one saw us too. Oh, uh, do we have anyone in the party now who has a special Hisuian evolution? It's a new secret menu thing. All right. It sounds a bit like they would like to have some social media interactions. You know what I mean? Syndic will, for sure. Yeah. Um, hey, how do we... How do we make stuff on the field? How, how do I craft right now? Open key items. Oh, got it. Cool. And you know what? I should set that to favorite. I need more Pokeballs. So you're saying Apricorns? Okay, so we need to save some Apricorns for Heavy Balls. Do that now, dude. Right. And then, so we do have a bunch to spend. Thoughts on In-N-Out and the lack of it on the East Coast? Oh, I don't really love In-N-Out too much. I'm not that kind of person. I do not lament the lack of In-N-Out at all. <laughs> For some reason, I'm having a really good time with Mime Jr. in the party. All right, I think that's actually a cricket tune and not a cricket tot that we just saw. The Mickey D's thing is silly. It's stuff people have been doing that going on for years, right? So it's kind of like uh, it's meant to make it feel more underground than it is. You know what I mean? They're like, they're like taking advantage. Pretending to be off hands with it, but it, it, to me it seems kind of uh, manipulative. You managed to catch the first three episodes of Critical Role's Vox Machina series. So I watched a trailer for it, and I was I was going to ask ch this to chat actually if that was Critical Role or not. That's interesting. Had some issues, but it was a great time. The budget seems crazy. It seems like a big budget show. <laughs> it, it seems like it's no joke. It's based off their first campaign. Yeah, with like great animation. 
They just hired a new social media person, I'm guessing. Maybe a younger millennial. Don't put don't pin this on millennials. That's funny. We would have been blocked if we were not a star trainer. Over here. Maya has a cool costume. It's got a Stantler on it. Vox got funded in 40 minutes? That's what that was? That's a crowdfunded animation series. No way. This is Arceus. My, my. A new face in the village? Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. Look at my body. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. <laughs> I have a problem that I need help solving. So the most important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? <laughs> yup. That's good to hear. That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here's my partner, Munchlax. <laughs> we were raised together like siblings. Let it evolve. He battles at my side by choice, without needing any little silly balls like you use. Watch and learn. It was originally going to be a mini web series. Huh. And then did it just get overfunded? Mime Jr. is going to crush you. I want to get close. I want to see this. Jack it up. Ooh, good HP, bro. I have to respect it. Oh, Mime Jr., no! Oh! Oh! So that's, okay, so because I went for super powerful confusion, that's why that Munchlax was allowed to do two turns in a row. That is pretty cool. Shoot, and I forgot to equip Tremonius with his new move. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. 10 million in crowdfunding, and then Amazon dumped a truckload of more on them. That's awesome. Um, I feel like we should do rollout. What chat reminded you? Yeah, you know, I got, I get it. Oh, that's super effective. Yeah, it's a ground type move, I guess. Rock type. Okay, okay, okay. Tremonius, you're about to die for this one. Thank you, buddy, for everything you contribute to this team. I love this level 10 Munchlax being a problem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. How's that burn, bro? Okay, and now to finish the fight. Be doof. Ow. You know what I should have tried? I feel like an idiot for not trying to catch that thing in a Pokeball. <laughs> you really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. These two grew up their entire lives together and he's level 10. It's hers though? She never put it in a Pokeball. Mai is the ancestor of Marley. We'll see about that. I mean, yeah. This character I feel like I've never seen before, though. Who's this? From Diamond and Pearl? Yeah, this one's hard to deny. 
post game battle frontier crazy deep cuts kind of a cool design honestly Her descendants become pigeon toed, though. Mai stands proudly. Marley points the toes in. Pokemon gotchas have ensured I'll never forget a character. Oh, the, um,. Gosh, that game still gets updated. The one where it's all boss fights. Oops, all boss fights. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. Thank you. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with the crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. Vivi jokes! You and your Pokemon have fought well together. You practically acted as one of them. Rather like the reg legendary hero of old. Oh no. Master's EX. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think. This is the first mention of a legendary hero of old. And it is concerning to me. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Height. It is a large, fearsome foe. Like any alpha. But you'll come, won't you? To Deer Track Heights? Oh! <laughs> I mean, I guess if you have a cell phone that God gave you, you'd make the same expression every time it rained. Is that strange thing gummy of yours telling you where to go? Yup. My, my. That is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave, it to you, uh, I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any problem handling an alpha. It seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, new one. Yeah. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about the almighty Sinnoh? Already. What now? I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. And this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sino that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We, of the Diamond Clan, are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sino. However, it stole away with from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sino has only been rarely seen by any human if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to the Almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to the needs. The Pokemon that graces the attack heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Okay, I'm gonna do my own thing though, my. I can't say you've really piqued my curiosity. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta really, oh, that is Krikatot. Great. Uh, let's kill it. I gotta keep track of, um, ooh, we're gonna catch it. 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 When I have a ball equipped and when I have a Pokemon equipped. Yeah, so that's kind of interesting, right? Is that Sinnoh was never referred to as a Pokemon. Sinnoh was also the name of a region. From Diamond and Pearl. So that's kind of neat. 
kind of neat little mystery. Good stuff, my little Mimey. Very sharp. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it saw me. Oh, but you showed me your back. You dumb bug. I saw your back. Look at it scamper away. That's so cool. This music is super Zelda. Oh, look at that tree. Good luck, Mimi. Oh, no. I hate Burmy. Burmy, you're gonna die. Struggle bug's gonna hurt. Have they mentioned Arceus yet? No. They have not. So Sinnoh could just be another name for Arceus, no doubt. This map is enormous. So that guy is probably going to be like, you don't have enough stars to cross. That is the guy who said that. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Guard up all you want. You're dead to me. Kill it, Mime Jr. Yes! We need to give Mime Jr. a potion, though. You're pushing her a little too hard. Mars, 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 Japan, thanks for being a 16 mother. <laughs> Get back down. Pokeball's out. Waraka, thanks for being a 15 mother. I'm loving this game. Got your back. Nice. This game is wild, dude. I can't believe it works. Um, what do I need again for this little guy? Number caught six. Oh, we got it. So we're good. We're probably going to hit research level 10. But if I could catch it without being spotted, we would get that. Okay, let's do it. Oh, you said I'd never miss. Oh my gosh. Oh, my word. So many wasted Pokeballs. I don't hate it. That one spotted us, though. No, it didn't. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So now we probably, I think we have enough Starlies to uh, complete that one mission. Somebody wanted to know everything there is to know about a Starly. User XY Ross, thanks for being an 18 monther. Sorry I'm late. Never apologize for that. Thoughts so far? This game is heated up since we, um, since we left the tutorial. Yeah, Cyndaquil, burn that Burmy. We gotta stop playing around. Tremonius, excuse me, Tremonius. Kill it. Yeah. 
Ooh, it leaves a vivid choke behind. That's cool. There's a Geo, dude. We gotta catch a Geo, dude. Bring it on, bro. You're gonna come fight me? <laughs> the way it reacted to getting its head hit. Okay, that's fun. Um, I think this will be fine. No! Damn, my junior, too strong. Ooh, we got some grit dust out of that, though. That was worth it. We forgot Tremonius' new move again. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I got some of those. Good tip. Good tip. Ooh, 15 Pokeballs. Thank you, Bjorn. Come on, bro. That's so nice. Um, okay. And then what also I forgot about was... No, we would just go to here. Man, this menu is actually really nice. I'm just not used to it. Um, change moves. This is wild. Aerial Ace. Bro, that is, that's so huge. Just dipping in to see how you're liking it. I'm freaking loving it. Oh yeah, we don't need you, Starly. You're fine. Uh, the Mossy Rock. Is that the one you're talking about? Is that where Eevee evolves? That is a Mossy Rock. Shrapnel. Thank you for being an 11 monther. It's funny, we had a bunch of resubs pop in suddenly. It's like everybody's getting off work or something. Check map. Mossy Rock is in the Heartwood. Somebody saw me. I think it was just that weasel. Oh, okay. I have not even seen the Heartwoods yet. Wow. Dude. Having a good time. <laughs> Angry float soul. Good God, that's scary. Lost satchel for the stones. Okay. Should we see what level it is? It's not going to be anything you can fight, dude. You don't know. <laughs> oh, to get the currency. Got it, got it, got it. Bro, that weasel hit so hard. Mime Jr.'s a baby. That's right, that's right. That's why Mime Jr. just gets wrecked in all these fights. Stuff, Shanks. Man, I really want to go. Oh, a Zubat out here. Cool, because it's nighttime? Heck yeah. Another Burmy? Another Burmy. Do Pokemon show their sizes in the world? I think they're all equal in the world. I should catch this one. Let's grab the bag. They do show their sizes in the world, so you could you could identify a large zoo bat in the wild, is what you're saying. That's cool. Huh? 
times you've seen struggle bug cool I don't like Burmy. We're not going to be evolving it. Oh, Shanks. I need to pull you out, bro. Who can handle the Zubat? Mime Jr. can handle this. No, Mime Jr. can't handle this. It's going to be bad. Nice, buddy. <laughs> I can't believe I'm this stoked to have a Mime Jr. in the party. Uh, do we need to give a potion to Shanks? We do. And then we should maybe make some potions. Oh, yeah, big time. Oh, it's a crit. Okay, okay. Fair enough. How does the water rate? The water does not rate highly. I really want to kill this Floatzel. I think we can do it. <laughs> you can't. Let me keep everybody healed up. And look how, look how the, like, the potion hovers over. Like, the menu system is great in this game. This would be, like, three or four different tabs in a regular Pokemon game. So having your items right next to your Pokemon party is, is just... It's such, like, a clever rethinking, I think, of a system that they've been just marginally improving for a long time. So I'm going to try to strike its precious backside. Here we go. Gotcha. Level 31. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, Shinx. We're gonna have to hope for paralysis right here. Because you'll die in two hits. Yes! Oh, that was huge. 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 Okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna press our luck, buddy. Do another thunder shock. Huge. Dead. Okay. Beautiful, you're right. I'm gonna use a heavy ball. We gotta hurt you more. Damn! Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Bidoof. We're gonna have you do a bite. Don't kill it, okay, bud? <laughs> great, Bidoof. Great, 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 great. Oh, you are a 
filthy, filthy video game for that one. Agile Arrest. So it didn't heal up all the way, but... Okay. Yeah, what's the what was the drawback? Why would you want an agile rest? I thought it's sleeping. What are the Z's? What are the Z's? I thought it's sleeping. Why do you got Z's over your face? If you're not sleeping. Oh my gosh. It's drowsy, not sleep. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. And so that's why it was agile. That was the benefit. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw more heavy walls. They changed sleep overall. That's so weird. By the way, the paralysis just stopped. It's not paralyzed anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and it just fought off its drowsiness. Oh my god. This couldn't have gone worse. We had such a strong opening. Um, Tremonius, we gotta run. Hey! <laughs> that still helped our Pokedex. Okay, so tell me more about what drowsy means. probably just craft my own stuff yeah what does it mean what is how does it actually work now it's just replacement for sleep it's like a chance like paralysis what's the chance <laughs> that's cute <laughs> what'd you do what are you doing over here you dumb badoof it's like paralysis, but you also take more damage. So it's a defense debuff. And the Pokemon may be unable to move each turn. Huh. Wild. Yeah, rest is super good then. Agile rest. That thing effed me up. We basically, we had one shot at it. That first heavy ball was it. Yeah, I like it too. Sleep's been the same for generations, you know what I mean? Go nuts. Who sees me right now? Oh, just that stupid Shinx. I think we're good on Shinx. We are. This might be a minor thing, but how wild is it that you get to manually aim and throw your Pokeball in this game? I actually like it. I prefer to aim it myself. Who do you think you are? Getting pumped up like that. Loving the game so far. 
We gotta stop putting Mr. Sorry, Mime Jr. out there like that, though. Get Eevee some fighting training. Nope, you gotta do Eevee and then this, though. Are we fighting two Shinxes at once? Is this 2v1? Yeah, it is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Good luck to you, little one. Good kill, Eevee. Good kill, good kill, kill good kill. 1v1, 1v1. Look around all you want. Watch this. Bop. Swift, dude. What an attack. Good stuff, little Eevee. Nope, my bad. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't know how to evolve Mime Jr. right now, other than just, like, continuing to use it. Are we good on Wurmples? Yes? No, research level 6. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Three quat. Let's see if I can get it without getting spotted. Shoot, they're both looking at me. Stop looking at me. Turn around. Oh, it saw me. Got that one, though. Light specimens. Good stuff, Evie. Sorry, bud. Dancing Flower, I think it's been an 18 monther. Uh, should this game be the template for Pokemon going forward after playing it for what? Four hours today? No doubt. No doubt. I will be so furious if the next Pokemon trailer has a camera looking down on the character. Oh no, look at that bad boy. There's no way, right? We'd be foolish to challenge him? Yeah, because you know that Snorlax has rest. That Snorlax, if, if the Floatzel had rest, the Snorlax has rest. <laughs> you know what's funny is he looks like he uh, looks in when he's about to do a Z move. His eyes light up exactly like that. Ooh. Oh. Cool. Bro, I'll kill you. You don't want this fight. I'll kill you. What's your level? 33, no, Eevee! Okay, 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 okay. And then it just stares at me. You've made your point. You've made your point. And then we'll be running away. <laughs> Sorry, Tremodius. <laughs> Tremodius is like, where'd he go? We're going to have to fast travel back to the camp again. We're just, we're in a spot we should not be in. A lot of ore out here, though. What the hell? Oh, God. 
Oh, we got cadavers out here. We should go, dude. We should go, dude. We shouldn't be here. I know. I'm pressing forward. Love this danger. I love this danger. Fly between them. Fly between them. Fly between them. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where the hell are we, dude? Okay, we can handle- Oh! No, I pressed the wrong button. We can handle the middle form, the Luxios. Oh, it's still chasing me. Shut up, dude. Whoa! Cool. It's really trying to hurt me. All right, what's your level? What's your level? What's your level? What's your level? 16. We can handle this. I'm nothing! Oh, my me! No! Damn! Okay. Tremonius can handle this. Don't forget your dodge roll. I did it by accident. You saw me not forget the dodge roll. Yes, the burn. The burn. Yeah, that's not going to do much damage anymore, bro. You're burned. Good shit, Tremonius. One more, one more. Just live one more hit. Thunderfang, survive, survive. Nice, Tremonius. Ooh, no. Okay. I'm going to catch it right now. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. got some moves mastered yeah like if you if you beat pokemon who are a higher level than you are you get a lot of xp for it unfortunately i think our precious mimey isn't gonna love us if it keeps dying in battle <gasps> is alakazam flying around bro this is so wild right now where even are we we gotta go to that lake we gotta see it This is a bit much. Uh, chat, I need to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Just went to a nearby 7-Eleven and bought the Ginger Snap Mountain Dew. Kyle, you need to try this. I would love to. I would love to. It's crazy this is just one zone. I agree. Maybe it's like they give you the biggest one up front, but this is pretty wild. All right, take a quick break. See you soon, chat. something but you are all that i see you got dynamite that smile's gonna be the end of me i bet you taste like chocolate can i have it for free i'm an explosion that smile's gonna be the end of me i want to say something but you are all that i see you got dynamite that smile's gonna be the end of me i bet you taste like chocolate can i have it for free an explosion that smile's gonna be the end of me that smiles that smiles that smiles that smiles gonna be gonna be the end of me i want to say something but you are all that i see you got dynamite that smile's gonna be the end of me i bet you taste like chocolate can i have it for free i'm an explosion and that smile's gonna be the end of me you cannot lie over a my tie you cannot lie over a my tie you cannot lie over a my tie Let's take each other out. You cannot lie over a my tie. You cannot lie over a my tie. You cannot lie over a my tie. Let's.
We're back, baby. I cannot believe how much freedom they give you in this game. So here's what I'm wondering. Should we use the revives and keep our party rolling in this dangerous area? Yeah, we should. Have you tried swimming? No. God, look at Alakazam, dude. That's so scary. We're going to keep pushing forward. Man, this is so fun. Look, I mean, I'm, I'm using potions on my super low-level Pokemon, and I'm, like, feeling excitement in this crazy area. Debbie will have to wait. Okay, so I think we should fight it. We got so much XP from that last fight. Good damage. Crit, come on, bro. No, why you choo choo? Why? Oh, that's so rude, game. That's incredibly rude. That's incredibly rude. Ooh, we can do beefed up Amber now? Fifty instead of thirty? That's so good. Kill it. Get the kill right here, or else you die. Oh, now we die. Sorry, Tremonius. Oh, we live! Nice! Poor Eevee got zero XP, though. Peppa plant. Okay, uh, I think I can make revives. I can. So I don't have to feel too bad about burning through them. Where normally they're pretty precious. Man, and chat was talking about how the game is too easy? That your starters are OP? Yeah, right, dude. Tremonius is struggling out here. Obviously, I'm going to try to swim to that giant rock. I don't think they're going to let me. Crafting system is so clutch. Yeah, I bet they were scared to put it in previous Pokemon games. Like they thought it would be overwhelming or something, you know? Damn. We almost drowned. Arceus, or Arceus saved us. No, we know. We know that we need a uh, Basculin, his suing Basculin or something. We know. It'll happen. 
Okay, so my worst nightmare is aggroing both of these two at once. Let's go, Tremonius. So even doing Agile style Ember does not give us two turns, so it's not going to be worth it. However, that one does give Luxio two turns in a row. Okay, we're getting it. Where's Aerial Ace? How'd I mess that up so bad? Oh no, Tremonius is pretty hosed now. I'm taking you out, buddy. I don't think I, I confirmed the change either. Obviously, Aerial Ace would not do as much good against Aluxio. What's that triangle? I think that triangle represents that it would be neutral against electric. Electric would be electric. I think you're right. Good kill, buddy. He's not effective. Oh! Look who showed up. Can't evolve, can't evolve. Oh, we should. We should. We're struggling so much. We should definitely evolve both of them. Oh, check out that icon. That's so cool, dude. Do it. <laughs> Whoa. No way. They went so hardcore with these. That was wild. High effort, dude. Tremonius, you need to evolve too, buddy. Do it. Oh my god. Let me see your back on fire, though. I don't like this look. Tremonious. So, uh, we are now going to fly back to the professor, I think. I, I cannot fight that Gyarados right now, chat. <laughs> I'm not equipped to fight it. Throw a ball, at least. It was too far out. Oh my gosh, you're killing me. You're killing me. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it my last heavy ball. Oh, we got three heavy balls. Okay, Gyarado, show up. Show up. Heavy balls don't go as far. That's interesting. Good to know. Show up. There it is. It's too far out, Chad. I, my, I can't reach that far. Magikarp, come on over. Come on over. Oh, yeah, not even close. 
That's intentional. That's intentional. Lure it with a berry? I like that idea. At least look, Gyarados. At least look. Bro. <laughs> okay. Imagine seeing a shiny right now and having no way to get it. Yeah, I can imagine that. You know what? We'll be able to get this lost satchel. Does throwing at a 45 degree angle help? It's funny, we did some math. At the top, like the second they gave us Pokeballs, we did a lot of testing. Uh, no, but aiming at a slightly higher angle, so like 25 degrees, uh, for some reason gives you the best distance. Alright, where's that satchel? The nighttime music, dude. This is cool. Ow! Gotta check Tremonius. Okay. You're right. We gotta get Tremonius in a fight. Light up your damn back. <laughs> Alright, where's that satchel? There it is. So is Andy, like, another player? Equip Aerial Ace. Let's do it once and for all. For real this time. Aerial Ace right here. Confirm. Yep. Nice. That's what I missed last time was the confirmation. Ow! <laughs> How's the game so far? Is it fun? Yeah, big time. Having a really good time. <laughs> um, I like this nighttime music. It's a little more on edge than I expected it to be. Okay. There we go, Tremonius. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Show him. Show him. So Tremonius only lights up when he has to. I think um, Tremonius with a powered up ember would have killed it. We'll do that in the future. Jack up the ember. Like I, okay, I love it big time. You can throw a Pokemon at a tree and then keep moving. I think I need more Krikatot info. Let's burn it. <laughs> oh my God. You're messed up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Good kill, buddy. Good kill. Lost and found. You received a thank you gift. Would you like to claim it now? Yeah. Hey, and I need a thousand? Okay. 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 Yeah, those are made up. Those are not real people.
Have we been this way? Yeah, but I want more cricket dots. Gotcha. Check this music right now. You are offline, aren't you? I thought I connected online earlier for the mystery gift. All right. Uh, catch him without getting spotted. Easy. Uh, defeat. Times you've given it food. That's never going to happen. Number of forms you've obtained. We already have those. Cool. Nice! I do wish um, the Pokedex entries updated automatically without me having to check in with the professor. So right now, I don't, I don't know if I've completed my Cricket Tot entry or not, you know? Ooh, what a toss! Nice, buddy. Jazzy there. Ten is complete. Right, so we don't know currently. See, research level is zero for Cricketot, so I don't know if it would be ten or not, you know? Does each pill count for one? It does. Okay, 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 okay. Each pill is one, red arrow ones are two. What does that mean? Double for the mark. Oh, so then we're good. We don't need any more cricket tots. Cool. You know who else needed food though? Is Mime Jr. Times you've given it food. Let's give it a ton of food right now. You know what? I think it was kind of rare that we ran into Mime Jr. I haven't seen one since. Damn it. Eat up. <laughs> I don't know how else to get it to eat, so it has to get hurt first. Throw them out and then throw a berry. I kind of like that idea. Okay, so we do this. Eat it! Eat it! Eat the berry! Okay. That was a fun idea, but that does not work, I guess. Oh, I need to get rid of that waypoint. Hey, we're close to a satchel. Maven. Yeah, it does look like to be it is a very stinky berry. Yeah, you're part flying, bro. Not easy being a zoo bat. There's the satchel. Nice.
Oh. Okay, let's, uh... Ooh, nice hypnosis. And now we're drowsy instead of asleep. Got it. Okay, so let's try... Uh, super confusion. Too drowsy to move. Well, don't do hypnosis. It's a wild too bad. Doesn't know any better. Super confusion. No, come on, bro. Oh, that's gonna hurt so bad, Mimey. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Luxio, you're out. That's a classic Zubat bag of tricks. I feel like I got, uh... Confused more than a, uh, put to sleep, though. And then let's give poor Mimi a potion. And co collect our reward? Yep. And a rare candy. Hey, hey. And then let's get rid of that on the map. There's that huge Snorlax, dude. So cool. Oh. I wonder who at Easy Allies is reviewing this. Still too far away. It is Ben? Nice. <laughs> you have no chance, you dumb little cricketot. Jack it up. It's funny because Ember is just such a tiny little fireball, too. Grit dust. Nice. Nice. I really love how these battles work out, dude. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Good survival instincts. I actually appreciate that. It did the right thing. It was not going to win that battle. Oh, yeah, we finished Krikatot's entry. We don't have to play around with it anymore. This is going to lead to something. Hey! Yes, I need a Geo, dude. Let's do not my junior though. <laughs> you know what? I probably could just have thrown a Pokeball. Not very effective. My bad. Well, that was fine. Nice. You were unawares, bro. Um. beaten Calamity Ganon yet. Yeah, it was actually super easy. Now we're just filling out the Pokedex. Yes! Yeah, we got a- we had a Buizel, and I was loving it. I was really appreciating this Buizel, and then I realized that I turned it in as part of a side quest. And now I no longer have a Buizel. Well, I have two back at the farm, but... You know, they're not my weasel. Don't be a Burmy. It's a Burmy. It's always going to be a Burmy. Stupid Burmies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I saw I saw that comment in chat and then I forgot about it. So after this, we're going to try to summon all of our Pokemon at once. Nice. Stragoba. What are competitive players saying? I assume that a lot of this was knowledge coming into the game. It's about, like, how... You can get your special attack and regular attack lowered at the same time. That's just wild. Nice. 
We're probably good on Burmy, actually. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, we need one more. So let's make it. Okay. Look at that, though. Three different forms of Burmy. I wonder what that means. Does this have PvP? I don't believe so. Defeat one with Aerial Ace. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, it's on me. It's mad. Different Burmy depending on the environment. Oh, cool. Mm hmm. Don't care. Pokemon Company said Sword and Shield will still be the competitive format. Cool. I'm just gonna use Rollout, great. And I'm shocked how much I actually enjoy the weird, dumb way this Pokedex works. I'm not even mad at it. Look at a scamper. I love that it doesn't bobble when it scampers. It's just those tiny feet moving. Okay, bro. No way, dude. Oh! <laughs> Too late, Quilava. I don't really have anybody who's good against those Geo dudes. I don't have anything for him. Wow, dude. This map is incredible. You forgot about bringing out the whole team again. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Nah, this is not my kind of Pokemon adventure. I like that you can do it if you want to. Yeah, that's true. That's cool. Cool. Good stuff, little Eevee. Oh. Who sees me? Wow, dude, this map. So cool. Alright, we actually made it to our objective. I want there to be puzzles in the environment you could use certain Pokemon to solve. That's a fun idea. And like normally I'd say, well, it's kind of limiting, but in the case of this game, like they make it so easy to catch Pokemon and to like amass Pokemon. I don't think it'd be a problem. I'm actually going to keep going around this way and see what happens. Sorry, Mai. Missing that weasel right now. Uh-uh. Oh, they're docile. Huh? 
Nice, Evie. Yeah, they are. He's a lure? Uh, okay. Last time I tried a lure, it was not effective. I'll try it, though. <laughs> Look at that huge butt. I wonder if that one saw me or if it's just kind of naturally wandering around like that. Easy catch, bro. Doink. Oh, no! Hey, hey! Ew, Stantler is so gross. It's got the body of a dog. It's thick. Stantler is one of the ones that evolves in a weird way. Man, I wish we could import Brashusi. Super Ember? Super Aerial Ace. Yeah. Aerial Ace is just like my best move right now. It's so dumb. No stab though. That's true. Now I can do Super Ember. You're dead. Ooh! Ooh! Uh oh! Don't hurt! 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 Don't hurt. Don't hurt. Oh, it's gonna die now. You dumb Stantler. Good XP though, dude. Wow. Nice. Yeah, that's probably a, like one of my favorite parts of this game. Just getting those instant catches. Trying to get snipes. So being uphill does matter for your trajectory as trajectory as well. Nice. Is it a guaranteed catch? No, but it helps your odds if you hit their back. Badoof can evolve! Okay, baby. I can't wait for this. <laughs> oh my god. Beeperell is just really awful. That's just a bad Pokemon. <laughs> oh my gosh. You got an idea for a new move? Cool. Let's see it. What? These are your same old moves. Water Pulse is new. Okay. I wish I knew how we were doing with uh, Geodudes. Yeah, I think you can check it now. There it is. Number quat is double, so we should just catch more. Yeah. Number you've treated with water type and grass type. Got it. I have neither of those things. Number you've seen leap out of ore deposits. Okay, so we gotta just focus on catching them. 
Nice. Oh, you're right, Bieberell, there's Water Pulse. I, I immediately forgot about that move, my bad. Did I turn autosave off yet? No, why would you do that? Is that for shiny grinding? Oh. Reminds me of Edith Finch. Number caught is doubled. Times you've seen it use Psy Shield Bash. I've never even heard of that before. <laughs> Accidentally checked the menu mid throw again. Aim for the donk. We caught the donk. Oh! It came out of the tall grass. Look at it walk across water. What a Pokemon. You're going down now. Shoot. Our Pokemon are about to level out of level 20. We need another star soon. <laughs> It's just the goobiest Pokemon. You are the goobiest, bro. Dubious goobious. Nice crit. We're gonna have to catch it. So save scumming with for shinies is a thing. Yeah, no, I I don't I don't play that way. You know what I mean? I'm happy to have auto save in most games. Oh, we gotta use Thunder Fang some more. Easy points. This is so cool, dude. We are so off the track, you know? This game is, gives you so much freedom. Do you want to know how to evolve it? Yeah. I want to know if that's something we can do now where we have to progress further into the story for. All one-time encounters in this game can't be shiny. That, how would they know that already? Good to know, though. Reassuring. You have to use Psy Shield and Agile Style. Huh. And then when do you unlock uh, Psy Shield? You have to use Psy Shield Bash 20 times in Agile Style. Oh, okay. We got that one already, dude. Got it. Mime Jr. can't handle it. What's up? You're gonna get soaked, bro. Level 21, you learn Psy Shield. Cool. Hell yeah. Eevee can evolve? Shoot. Should we do it? I don't think we should do it. Oh, evil Stantler up top. I'm gonna go fight that evil Stantler. Oh, you dumb Zubat. You just appeared. Bite? Uh. Yeah. No, I would do. Tackle? No. Bite. Nice. Rock because of flying. Okay. I like rollout just freaks me out, but you're right. Rollout would have been great. 
Yeah, I think Jones is going to love this game, too. Okay, I guess I'm just nervous that it'll be Umbreon, which obviously we just had an Umbreon when we played through Colosseum. If it's Sylveon, I'm pretty stoked. That means we could dump Mime Jr. Save and see? I don't think we can do that. I think we just gotta do it. Oh. Holy shit. Double deer. Oh, it saw me! No! Oh, no, 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 no! Holy shit. Okay, it's stuck on the mountain, which is nice for us. I think that was Psy Shield Bash right there. Level 42! No! No, 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 no! We gotta go, Tremonius. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Level 42! I love this stuff, dude. Pokemon never does anything like this. This is wild. <laughs> Ooh, a Drifloon. That's awesome. Time for the evolution? I'm a little scared, man. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for it. I kind of wanted the Eevee to be a Leafeon, you know? Can I get an oh no because a dog literally bit me in the butt? Yeah. Oh no! Sorry about your butt, bro. Stantler Lionel, no doubt. That's 100% what that was. What? How did that work on my Beaverell, who's a normal type? Help me out with that. What was that about? I thought Confusion is Psychic type. The Moss Rock is in a southeast corner. Okay, we're, we're kind of like heading that way. Oh, so Bibarel is now part water type. And so that's why it's allowed to... Yep, okay. Fair enough. Okay, bro. We can't evolve. God. Let's see where we're on this map. We're heading to the southeast corner. Let's do it. I'm not evolving Eevee till I go to the southeast corner and see that mossy rock. Dude, Apex Parasect. So cool. <laughs> Look at that fucking Stantler, dude. <laughs> Holy moly, that is so scary. I see a huge tree, is that something? Hey, hey. You gotta leave the desk alone. There's our crooked tune. I hate this guy. That's a bad Pokemon right there. Uh, I would keep Mime Jr. out of this one. You would, would you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Tremonius is KO'd. Sorry, Mimey. 
I thought you were tougher than that. <laughs> Every time to head back to base, we're too far out. We're in too deep. Quote our strong beer, thanks for being a 20 monther. In for just a bit, how are you liking this change up in the formula? Every change up move is so good. Every formulaic decision they made was is a positive thing. We need to heal the team up though. So let's uh make another revive. Some potions. I need more leaks, bro. I don't, I don't know when we got all these black tumble stones. We're doing great on that. Okay. Yeah, the team's not looking great right now. I'm sorry, Tremonius. For some reason, I'm always tempted to fight these red-eyed beasts, even though clearly we're not ready yet. Uh, that Bibarel was the first time anybody drank a potion and did not fully heal up. What the hell? Oh! Zubat, no! Oh. Holy moly. Okay, fine. We'll fight you. I grant your wish. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I'm stuck down here. I'm sure this stuff took forever. To work out, basically, like... These Pokemon battles dynamically appearing wherever you are on the map. Pearl member. Cool. Come across a she tree shaking? Yeah, there's one right behind you. Man, we're out here. I see a leak. I need that. Oh, and I see a mushroom. I need that. Grab it. You don't have space in your satchel. Oh my gosh. They made the Paris aggressive. It's very funny. Ooh, look at your eyes. <laughs> yeah, right. You're about to get torched. Okay, so we need to clear out space in the old inventory. Yeah, here we go. still saw me. What the hell? These Pokemon are getting nasty. Little Paris is shooting lightning all over the grass. You gotta die. That's another Burmy. Okay, Burmy. Dude, this is very cool. Lumberry. All right, let's keep trying to head southeast in general. I am kind of. Nature's pantry. Welcome to Nature's Pantry. Here you'll find all kinds of berries. 
Lumberry is useful. Um, what's bad in our inventory right now, then? What do I get rid of? Man, we need a backpack. Once we have multiple kinds of Pokeballs, this is going to be a mess. Mud balls. I hear you. Nice lum lumberry sticking around. That was sweet. Five leaks can be five potions. Yeah, I also like to use them for revives, though. I like to have that flexibility. Look at this idiot. You're dead. Oh. Oh, nice. Not dead. Uh, we'll catch you then. You can't expand it. It just costs money. That's cool. Oh, yeah, right, bro. Please. Nice. So I think when we got that cutscene, it implied that that would be a catch, right? Grit dust. Damn, I love grit dust. Sword cap. My inventory is too crammed right now, dude. Too cramped. Should have picked that up first. Get your shit, you. Is this the way I'm going? Yeah, that's southeast. Damn. Okay. Got some natural beaverels out here. You don't have space in your backpack. Oh my god. Oh yo yo. Luxio is gonna feast on you, you dumb bird. Seven foot fiend, yeah, super good so far. Right now we're just way off the track. We're way off where we're supposed to be. And just kind of goofing around and seeing what's out there. We're exploring, you know? In a Pokemon game, it just feels great. You're dead. No, you avoided the attack. Well done, well done, well done. Not very effective. Accuracy 95. It's gonna miss sometimes. Hell yeah. Take the trip back home. So we're not gonna do that yet. We're too far out. We're trying to get to the mossy rock that would allow our Eevee to evolve into a Leafeon. You're right, we got a lot of XP from that. As you were, Bidoof. I should try to fight this Beaverell, right? We don't have anything that'd be good at fighting it. Oh no, it's a big boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Don't drown, don't drown. It's huge. Should we try? No, it has to be like 45 plus. We're so far off the main part of the map. There's no way it's not huge, level wise. Silent Continent, I saw that uh, documental was up on Amazon.
Okay, we got by. We got by. <laughs> um. I'm pretty stoked to watch through that. Psydox out here? Okay, we need to... Get everything under control. Ooh! Just a thunder shock. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. No. <laughs> we killed it. Mana berry. No, there. Are... Okay. The satchel limitation is actually bugging me. I'm bugging. too far bro here we go looking for a mossy rack Veneri saw me, huh? This is so cool, man. Like, th this definitely feels like a new environment we're in, right? Really dig this. Nice throw. Yeah, I saw the beautiful eye. We got one already. Scyther's over there, bro. Okay. Shoot, I wonder if they'll let us cross this bridge. My god. I, uh, love this game to death, dude. I can't believe it. You know what I mean? People were asking me, like, they were checking in. They're like, what's your hype level on Arceus? You know, for weeks now. And I'm like, well, it's, it's probably going to be bad, but, you know, we'll have fun with it. Ooh. Stupid duck. All right, I need to actually be getting these healing items. So we got to we gotta spend something. Oh, so that restores PP. Cool. Crafting ox powers? What does that mean? I don't know. That seems pretty good. I wouldn't just burn that. Hitting a Pokemon with one may stun them. I think I gotta get rid of these spoils. Did anyone pick this up in Fantasy League? Nobody dared to. Nobody was brave enough to. Thanks, Richie.
You can evolve that Scyther with that item that lets you evolve without... Yeah, but we're, we're really... There were many Lost Satchels away from being at that point. Wow. This is crazy. Ox powers X attack, special attack. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so I'm a little less excited about that prospect. I need Iron Bark Tongue. It sounds so cool. Shoot. I think I'm going in the opposite direction of the mossy rock. Okay, 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 okay. I'll check the map. I got distracted by exploring, dude. So yeah, we're about to go up this rim, and you're saying the, the mossy rock is down this way? It is. It's about right where my cursor is. Okay, you got it. First things first. First things first is what's in this tree. It's gonna be a Burmy, dude. Do not get excited. Oh, it's a little combi. Oh, beehive. You know, and I was saying at the beginning of the stream that I feel like, um... This game's review scores will go down as it gets more reviewers. I don't know, man. I think this game will continue to review pretty well. Rough start, but it's like, we're here, man. We're in this world. Making me sad you haven't named all of your Pokemon. I know. It's pretty crazy that they've really just taken out that step and I don't feel incentivized anymore. Yeah, I'll get more of this weird bark. Okay, so it should be that way. Yep, we're heading the right way. What score do I think Ben will give it? Uh, 7.5. Ben's got to keep it real. I got to make more Pokeballs. Yeah, plenty of space. You getting a feel for how big the overall map is? Okay, so here's the crazy thing, is that this map right here, which is enormous, it's frankly enough for one game, it's bigger than Sword and Shield's map, is just part of this giant island. I'm assuming the other chunks of this map are not going to be as big as this section is, but maybe that's not a safe assumption. Cool, nice dodge. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Still gonna burn. That one is super shiny. stuff in it. Ooh, what? What What did I not have space for? 
Stardust is valuable. Okay, 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 okay. What's gotta get dumped? What are we dumping? What are we dumping? I think I'm dumping the bark tongue. Yeah. Is it takes two cancel tomorrow so I can finish this game? We're not finishing this game in two days. We'll definitely play this more next Friday. Hey, we're pretty close to the mossy rock. I think that might be it. Look at it. Look at it. Eevee? Does this make you feel anything? Level it up nearby. That's a little risky, chat. Cause it's ready. It's ready to evolve right now. Is the problem? Maybe atop the rock. Evolve in the menu. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. There's no escaping it. We're here at the rock. So whether Eevee evolves into an Espeon or a Leafeon right now, it's fate. There's nothing else that we can do. I guess we could take it into battle and make it lose enough times for it not to be happy anymore. But yeah, it's hard to tell like which one overrides which. We're not saving. Okay, here we go. Terumi Chiron, thanks for gifting five gift subs right there. Can we bet? That's a fun idea. Oh, does it know a fairy move? It does not. Oh, that's probably how everybody got um its fairy evolution. Oh, it does. It has baby doll eyes. It's got baby doll eyes. I did teach it baby doll eyes. So let's unteach it baby doll eyes. Well, I think... Shoot. Maybe take that off. Yeah. Yeah, we want a Leafeon. We've never had one before. Oh, it won't let me get rid of it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It won't let me delete baby doll eyes. Shoot. You can teach it to move at the move, lady? We have no way to fast travel back to where we are right now. We're too deep. We're too deep. Teach us something else. There's nothing else to teach it. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna... We're going to bet. What will Eevee become? Leafeon? Or Sylveon? If it's Espeon, everybody gets their marbles back. Okay. Where's Debbie? Now it's Debbie time. Debbie time was a debutante.
The moss rock rocks get priority, I'm sure of it. How can you be so sure? How can you be so sure? Where does that confidence come from? <laughs> That's a good video. Um, for some reason, some of the, like the, their perspective, maybe Debbie seemed huge to me. Look at it right now. Debbie seems like a five foot tall dog right there for some reason. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. We're going to know immediately. But up, but up. Leafeon! Dang, that was cool. That was cool. Yeah, I've never had a Leafeon, man. Look at this thing. You got an idea for a new move, Leafeon? Okay, let me pay out. So the rock overrode that Leafeon had one fairy move. Leafage? It's not even a special attack. I don't want leafage. We've been working on your special attack. I don't want this. Well, it's something to start with. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of tackle. Whoa, no nicknames? Yeah, so this game is weird. It like doesn't prompt you to give the Pokemon nicknames when you catch them. Um, You're right. We should give a name to Leafeon. Leafeon, a male Leafeon, you shall be named. Seed War. Great. <laughs> Wood. Oh my gosh, game, you're killing me. Now I'm thinking we should go back to town. Look at their smile. <laughs> I think we should go back to town now.
Crit dust, man. Brutal. We got what we wanted. Yeah. Then what are you doing still? I'm a maniac, bro. I gotta explore the corners of this map, you know? Bro, huge difference. Bro. <laughs> Just gave up, finally. Oh yeah, there's their mama. We found their mama. Oh. Let's go. Let's. I'm not gonna fight their mama. You, you know what else? We need, um... Stantler in the party. Thirty. That's some dosh, bro. Uh, all right, so Eevee is research level six. Oh no! Bro, bummer. <laughs> I need to be using quick attack more. Because they're just hard to find. And I needed to be giving it more food. Hey, two stars. Uh, continue my excursion. Because I want to talk to this woman right there. Hey, you like cricket tunes? Cricket tots. That'd be so cool if that happens. Very jerk. Thanks, yo. And then you, I'm giving that mushroom too. Fry him? Stew him? Was that a Lord of the Rings reference I just flew th through? How do I know if it likes mushroom cake? How do I even know? Did you see in an interview with Miyazaki about Elden Ring, there are multiple poison swamps? Because I cannot help myself. That's such a funny answer. What do you mean there's no room? I gave you my mushroom. Oh my gosh. Okay. Nice. Oh, who cares then? Can't help myself. Uh, okay, so what would we want in storage, though? Like, what do you... What is valuable here? Nothing. Like, what would I put in storage? This one. Yeah. Move all at once. Cool. Stupid mushroom. And then I'm going to sell some stuff in town. Okay. Crafting items can be used from storage. Really? So if I went to, like, craft. Crazy we only have one key item so far. This will tap into... It will. Huh. Cool. How nice. Take my stardust. 
So shoot, I should put like pretty much any craftable in there, including this thing. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense to me. The guy who expands your satchel is in the galaxy building. Cool. New side quest available? Okay, okay. Boss, I got a new star. Boss. Oh, and then talk to Leafeon for some new moves. That's a good idea, too. With this, you have officially attained the rank of second star of the Galaxy Expedition team. Now use feather balls. Ooh, that was clutch. We needed that really badly. Have these as well. Hey! Thank you! Super potions! Oh, and that's what the Peppa plants are for. Okay, quick. Okay, 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 okay. Good stuff. Dubat's eyes. Larissa. Okay. Yeah, I assumed that Zubats do not have eyes. Okay, you said the guy by the stairs. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? This guy got hurt. <laughs> okay, so we're just not that far in the story yet. Come on, Jack. Get together. Eugene. Oh. <laughs> cool. Yes. New moves for seed war. Magical leaf. So I'm sorry, chat. You said that Leafeon actually has a stronger base attack than special. I think we should do aerial ace. Calm mind is not going to be that helpful for us, honestly. I don't see Rock Smash helping us that much either. Yeah, we got to pick up Stantler. Oh, we can just look at Stantler from here. Oh, we got to pick out which one's going to be the Stantler, though. True. Who's bigger? <laughs> That's all that matters, right? You going to try out the new Critical Role animated show on Amazon Prime? I think so. It looks fun to me. But. 
uh, as chat pointed out, first priority is going to be documental. I've actually been watching um, Righteous Gemstones, too. Okay, so I'm assuming we're hoping for high attack, low special attack. Low special, high speed. Okay, okay. Neutral is fine. Uh, low attack. Nope. And then another neutral. Yeah, I think we might go... We might go with neutral. So we have one at level 11 and we have one at level 9. Sorry, 12. So I think we're taking the 12... No, you know what? This one's good. Stantler's never going to be using its special attack, but having that speed boost is worth it. We like this one? Okay, me too. Alright, so level 14 Stantler is joining the party. And replacing Biberel. Thanks for your time, Biberel. Wow, I love this menu system. I absolutely forgot who wanted that Geo dude. She was off in the field, wasn't she? Need to level Baneri? No, 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 no. No, I do not like Baneri. Nor La Punny. She would be at her house now. Oh yeah, the pickle woman. Right, 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 right. She's gonna do, turn Geodude into a pickle lid jar. I totally forgot about her. Okay, Stantler, what can we do for you? Bulldoze. 60 a hundo? Physical attack? I love it. That seems really good to me. Unfortunately, we don't have that attack. You just learn it at level 21. The one that makes it evolve. Uh, Swift seems good, but it's special, so we're not going to worry about it. Okay. I can't believe the flexibility they are allowing for just training your Pokemon. I'm so into it. Let's get Bulldoze in there, buddy. They let you actually play the game at rules. I know, I feel, I feel like... I'm gonna see if she's in here. She was on the second floor, I think. I feel like, uh, free. We've been ignoring the main story for so long, for hours at this point. You're right, she's in her house. So I think we can just kind of highlight it. Ooh, everybody's gone home for the night. That for you, boss. Uh, so I do up. No, I do this. Missions and requests. Requests. Pickling stone. Cool. And there's the house we're going to. Did Kyle unlock the next base camp? No. No, I still only have the one base camp. We've done a lot of exploring, but I have not unlocked a second base camp yet. Way over leveled? I don't know. I still keep getting rocked in battles. I haven't conquered one alpha Pokemon yet. Okay, which Geodude... This feels bad. Which Geodude is going to become a lid? You're the one. 
You're born to be a lid, brother. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it really does look like a rock, and it seems to be the ideal weight, too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young lady. With this Geodude's help, I'll surely make some scrumptious pickles. He seems into it, actually. <laughs> they knew. They knew that. Look, they knew. <laughs> Astro Turnip, thanks for being a 19 monther. Two more years and I can drink legally. Two more months. Honey cake. Cool. Let me check that again. Adorable Starly. Oh gosh, we have to have finished Starly at this point, haven't we? I don't think so, dude. Check your Pokedex. I totally forgot about that quest. No, we did. Okay, okay. So let's find out who that person is who wants that Starly. Oh, right here in town. Did I catch that Bugene is a Cascoon and not a Silcoon? I thought that was cute. What? I thought it is a Silcoon. No, it's definitely saying Cass. Hey. You wanna know about Starlies? Male and female Starly have different appearances? <laughs> this is cool, dude. This small community learning more about Pokemon? I'm actually into this. Oh, you can have the you can have my Starly. I'm not attached to it at all. Where's my Starly? There we go. I was very confused there. Um, yeah, first Starly. Lovely round eyes. Oh no, those are not lovely eyes. <laughs> Want to pet it? No! I think I'm just quite satisfied just looking at it, after all. Besides, it might let loose a move. Who outside of the Survey Corps or Security Corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly? I actually just gave a Geodude to a Pickle Lady. All the same, I must thank you. Oh my gosh. So remember, oh my gosh, we're going to be pairing up people with Pokemon throughout this entire playthrough. And eventually this village will have a ton of Pokemon wandering around inside of it. That lightens me up, brother. That gives me joy. Super cool fetch quests that actually affect the world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's nice. Hi, Clarissa of the Security Corps. That's me. Thanks so much for taking on my request. I need you to catch a Zubat and show it to me so I can take a look at its eyes. Odd request, I know, but I've got a good reason for it. 
Zubat never seem to have trouble flying around in pitch darkness. That means their night vision must be top notch. If I could learn how to see in the dark like them, night shifts on guard duty would be a breeze. So I'm counting on you for your help. Catch a Zubat and show it to me, please. Would you please? Yup. My only Zubat. What time are we starting tomorrow? The usual? No, not usual for a Saturday. So tomorrow we'll start at 4 p.m. Eastern, which is a normal time for Mondays and Fridays. Are you planning on catching them all? It sounds like that's part of the story. Our God gave us the decree that we need to catch them all. Let's just take a look at those peepers, if you please, Zubat. Hey, buddy boy. Oh, okay. Ow, 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 bro. Your claws. Come on, man. No peepers. Where are the eyes on this little guy? Don't tell me it doesn't have eyes. But, but that, that means Zubat flies around while being completely blind. Huh. Zubat must have some other kind of secret sense if it doesn't need eyes. Hey, bud, you're pulling, you're pulling on some cords. I don't think you realize you're pulling on some cords. You're pulling on some cords, buddy. I'm gonna ask you to not do that. There we go. Uh-huh. There we go. Huh. <sighs> That's amazing and all, but it hardly helps me. What am I gonna do about my nighttime shifts on guard duty? Why don't you, uh, partner up with Zubat? All right, bro. <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh, that's a good idea. No need for me to go it alone, after all. A little help would be great. <laughs> that's that, then. I'll get out of here and find a Zubat that can help me as my partner. Thanks for the greedy vase. I have a Zubat, right? I'll take my Zubat. Ox power. Paul D, thanks for being a 20 monther. How's the game? Great. You're actually here in the purring. Yeah, he's purring right into the mic. <laughs> You're funny, bro. Can I store things in my house? He does like the mic for some reason. Yeah, we can. I... Watch your paw. Okay, that's at least some space. Okay. We gotta put our microphone back. I wonder if we should head straight back into town and pick up more side quests. Those were good ones. Hey, hey, don't bite the skeleton. No, mucho. <laughs> okay. Hey! 
Why are you going straight back to it every time? No. He thinks he's slick, too. He's like, I'm going to sneak it in. Hey, hey, uh-uh. Nope. That was a loosey-goosey one. Hey! Leave it alone. Leave the skeleton alone. Oh, this thing's coming for me. Oh, it's appeared. Ow! That was sick. What made me name him Mucho? Uh, I was actually looking at a few different names. I had a list of like five. Mucho was the one that fit him best. Show his own skeleton. I should. And I love that. I mean, this is Pokemon's been doing this for a while. Catching a Pokemon, catching a Pokemon in a Pokeball still gets you experience points. Love that. Number caught at night. That's the only time to catch him. job. Stanley. Still looking for that woman who wanted a Geo dude. Oh, we found her. Never mind. We're good. I don't know why I'm so fixated on that. We did the Geo dude thing. It was a pickle jar. Uh, who else we got? There we go. Nope. You do that, and then you do this. So, kind of crazy you don't lose a turn, huh? You're just allowed to switch out that first one for free. Thanks for the bug warp. Yeah, come to think of it, maybe all swaps are free. That is not gonna work, it's mad at you. Leafeon's actually not equipped to win that fight. Seed War, excuse me. Good kill, brother. Oh, we learned that these are valuable because we need these for super potions. Zubat. I can't believe they put Porygon in this game. It's just inappropriate. Research level five. Number you've evolved. Investigated. Yeah, we got that. That's cute. 
Um, that was worth two. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Number caught during daylight hours. That's not going to happen. Oh, probably in a cave. Bro, if this game has caves, instant hit. I just want Mime Jr. to be happy. That's a good stone. Did we finish Geodude yet? Nine. What do we need? Uh, one more heavy one. One more caught. Okay, okay. We got this. Ow! Okay, well, we're going to fight you then. Not with you. Well, I'll just switch you out. Okay. Is this game relaxing? Yeah. It can be. You you play this game at your own pace. Nope. There you go. All right, let's see what Leafage does. That killed. Okay. <laughs> hey, that did it though. Now we're ten. We're uh ten for uh, Geo Dude. Geo Dude's good. I just, I love that we can move around mid-battle. That's so incredible. They didn't have to do that. My junior is level 19. Come on, game. It's time. It's time for you to be happy and evolve. Seems like 30 or more is the max for that add-on. I just came back with 44 and only got the 31. Huh. Cool. That makes me feel good, right? Because you don't you don't want to be just stocking up on them too much. Mime Jr. evolves when he learns the move Mimic? Really? I like how it stayed nighttime. What at what level does Mime Jr. learn Mimic? Thank goodness I got here just in time. As a Pokemon researcher, 25, okay. I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha, now could I? Suppose this is your business, fine. As long as you stay out of the way. Worst professor design, hands down. He's not a likable professor, but I don't think he's meant to be. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I have long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancient blessed by the mighty Sinnoh. Dealer whoop! <laughs> Ew, that's not it. <laughs> that's only a troublemaker. Here to disturb the peace with its racket. Dele whoop! <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll go kill it. Yeah, I'm ready. 
I'm ready to kill it. You know who's going to torch it is, uh, Tremonius. You must face it. Make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Pokemon whose eyes glow red are called Alpha Pokemon. Yeah, we're familiar. Harmonious is ready. Oh, Harmonious, shh, get back. Harmonious, get back. Harmonious, come back. Harmonious, come back. Oh my god. Harmonious, come back. Scripted. <laughs> Go, Tremonius. Press Y to see the action order. Oh, for sure. We've seen it. Air release. Embers got stabbed. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Beautiful. One more of those. One more of those. The second one did twice as much damage. I don't understand what happened there. <laughs> you re Oh, you really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in Alpha like that, it truly reminds me of a legendary hero of all. We'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off such a foe. Sure. Weir! <laughs> What's in the world? It's the great weird deer. Oh my god. <laughs> he looks upon you with kindness, Arcea. Arceus. <laughs> I'd say the great weird deer is taking a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why... It's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. This man knows too much. This man knows too much. He's from the future, too. He's from the future, too. No, that's a, that's a hint. That's not a nod. That's a hint. Professor, I take it things went smoothly? I'm here on Captain Silene's orders. She said we'd be able to set up base camp here once Arceus takes care of her request. Cool. Oh, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adaman and the commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. Is it truly? Yep, the Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. So as long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with Pokemon, then I imagine you could also be allowed to use this land. 
The great weird deer has taken a liking to Arceus as well, so it's a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I've come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Okay. Bye. Well, if we're to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to know them better. And the first step toward that is completing the Pokedex. The construction core should be here soon. Uh, they'll have our new base camp pitched in no time. Ooh. Those rocks are shaking up top. That's no normal rock. Here we have it. Our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. Okay. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having more base camps ought to help make our survey work easier, huh? Yup. Well, that's that. How about we head to the Wallflower like usual? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. We're doing it. Are we shopping for clothes? Will there be more clothes available? Oh, Geodude's good. We're good on Geodude. Zubat's at nine. We just need to defeat two more. Check Drifloon. For some reason, when you press B there, it takes you out all the way back. Benny Ocham, the usual fo potato mochi, please. And make it for three today as well. Okay. <laughs> Y'all heard the grave news. That friend frenzied Cleavor from the rumors. Oh, the evolution of Scyther. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks. Went out to investigate this morning. Sick. The medical corps had a hard time getting all the injured people back on their feet. Ah! This is the Cleavor that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, it further, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Arceus here can handle things just fine. But that clear I love the expression on Ray, actually. So <laughs> they give him a good skeptical expression. Have I seen what Cleavor looks like? Yeah, that was one of the first ones revealed. So Cleavor wasn't leaked. They were doing official promotions of Cleavor for a while. And Cleavor is in the commercials too that you see all the time. But that Cleavor is said to be much, much stronger than even an alpha Pokemon, isn't he? Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And since this perilous work of our calls, of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fight, Mia. Okay. No, I don't love Cleavor either. Cleavor to me, um, has got weird, like, uh, skinny limb issues. Cleavor doesn't look ready to slash at you. Rise and shine, Arceus! Wake up! The boss wants you. Kamado, that is. Get yourself to the commander's office. Okay. <laughs> I like how Ray's choice voice changes every appearance. Yeah, I cannot ever remember. So wait, are there going to be new clothes available? Did you get a good rest? Yeah. How about you? Look who's being punctual. Finally realized you've wasted almighty sinner's precious time by bowing to a sham. Oh, these are new people. Hey, 
there you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. <laughs> okay, you could have all the spare time there is and still not know what to do with it. What an insult. Excuse me? You're really suggesting that you make better use of your time than what we do with the vast of Hisui's space? Better than some! It's a miracle you showed up on time, O oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan! I'm worried that you get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up! Okay, so it sounds like what's wrong with Diamond and Pearl Clans is they are mistaking Sinnoh, the god of all things, to be either Dialga or Palkia, sounds like. Me get lost <laughs> in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan and our world's very beast. The Pearl Clan and our... Oh, sorry. You wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. So she's about space. He's about time. Got it. I don't know which one is Dialga and I don't know which one is Palkia. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. Palkia space, Dialga time. Okay. Just another day with those two, I see. That man's named Adamant. He's the leader of the Diamond Clan. Uh, they put a lot of importance on time, as you can probably tell. And the girl is Arita, the leader of the Pearl Clan. They're all about space. You heard what she called it, right? Our world's very basis? Anyway, whenever they run into each other, those same arguments always flare up. Seems like they've inherited some bad blood from their predecessor, Stripe. Ah oh well, not our problem. <laughs> But you'll have problems if you don't get yourself to the commander's office, Arceus. How are you two doing? Yes! Oh, nice. New side quest? Playing with Drifloon. It seems several people have spotted Drifloon playing with one of the village children. Oh no. No, no, no. Miki from the Security Corps will give you notice. Okay. Drifloon are known for picking up children and leading them to their death. Most ghost Pokemon just want to kill children. Does this game have teeth? I doubt it. I doubt it. I think we should do that quest before ending tonight. And I, I doubt it's going to have like any like children are disappearing kind of issues with the Drifloon. I bet it's actually going to be like a friendly Drifloon. What do you intend to do about that cleaver, Commando? <laughs> Sorry, Commander Kamado. He may be descended from a warrior of almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You could try to that point, Adamon. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleavor is a precious lord of the Berg clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl clan's concerned. 
If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. His costume is kind of cool. That hair texture, though. Yeah, everybody's got clay hair. But even folk of Teak Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got a new salt in here. Who then? With the Diamond Clan and have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. But it maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frame. It's cool they call this, this Pokemon a lord. I actually kind of like that. I like to know that myself. This is a first as far as my clan knows, too. Huh. I see you've arrived. This is Arceus, the newest member of our survey call. Aha, uh -huh. I hear from my you've earned Weird Ears favor. <laughs> this is about to stuck open right now. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I'm Adam Man, leader of the Diamond Clan. If you want to be formal, you're the leader? But that's a mouthful, just call me Adam Man, okay? You came from beyond the space-time rift. Could you be the space from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Arita, the leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. <laughs> Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I'm afraid so. I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleavor? <laughs> this newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience? Shut up! Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. So, well then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid a chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. Highly anticipated. Thanks for being a two-monther. I love a two-monther. Hey, Kyle. What do you think of Gary Shandling and or Larry Sanders' show? Keeping up everything you're doing, man. Uh, you're only going up. Thanks, Hylian. I've only seen very little of Larry Sanders' show. Like, when it was on. Back in the day. I think it's all on HBO Max, though, right? I think I might be into it. I do like Gary Shandling. He seems like a very sassy person. Do you think our character is a metaverse world of their own? This whole adventure feels like a simulation of something. This is canon. One of your comedy heroes. Um, most recent thing I saw of Gary Shandling was him tearing down um God, his name escapes me. The British office actor. Who, like, giggles. The British office actor who giggles all the time. Ricky Gervais. Thank you. Yep, 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 yep. It's the most awkward thing. I think it was Ricky Gervais's show. It did an interview with Gary Shandling, who clearly hates Ricky Gervais and the kind of things he jokes about. It's wild. It's a wild video to watch. You okay if I give a leftover Prime gaming code away in your chat? Sure. I think that's okay. <laughs> I think that's fine. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways. Putting Pokemon in strange balls? What have you? <laughs> Everyone speaks with uh, British phrases this whole way through. Everyone's British in this game. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made his Sui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. 
She's got a point. We do not use Pokeballs for a desire to control our Pokemon. Only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. Allow us this. This is your mission now, Arceus. I order you to study Griever and help us find the truth of the situation. Oh. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to fully be accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. I guess they both actually have the same kind of necklace. Kamui says you missed their Risa. My bad, Kamui. You're a 20 month there. Thanks for saying Kaji. <laughs> Paul D, I may have missed you as a 20 month or two. Sorry about that. Give him a Okay, all right. Kachi. <laughs> well, that's settled, and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with almighty Sinnoh's own power. So no other Pokemon you've yet encountered, been, encountered can compare to its strength, so be warned, okay? Uh, no, I've, I've seen some crazy alphas. There's no way it's tougher than those. It's a gold duck. Right? He's got a gold duck on his uh kimono. I've levels for it takes two tomorrow is pretty high. Pretty high. I hope everything works okay technically. I'm a little nervous about that. But yeah, generally pretty excited. Excited. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us... Interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clan, understand? Shine me down the stair, Lark. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Okay. little too much dialogue here. Ah, oh, good, you're already here! Uh, Professor Levington, the briefing, if you please. All right, let's get to it. So, Arceus, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state, but as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing, nigh invincible even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver uh, when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission would put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Oops. I mean, yeah, we're confident. Very well. And let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl Clans revere their nobles because they believe their Pokémon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokémon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this cleavor. Okay. Arceus, uh, we need to speak with you, okay? Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through space-time rift, that might mean, you know, you travel through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it. He must have just been swimming in his divine might. Well, got a favor to ask you. 
Oh, amazing time traveler. Don't just study, Cleavor. Quill, it's frenzy. <laughs> well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adaman. We were just discussing our next steps with regards to this whole Cleavor situation. <laughs> you must be that Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, my professor. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Professor. Uh, share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let's elaborate a little, okay? Those pro clan types have a lot of respect for Cleavor, okay? You heard his title, Lord of the Woods? Oh, I'm sure they'd rather get this under control, too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask for those of the Galaxy team, you know, of all people, to help. Truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. Like a Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into some type of, like, frenzy just like Cleavor. So, now, there's certainly bad blood between us and Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share Hisui. And that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleavor at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of Heartwood, okay? His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, put it as to a bit. Well... Sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. Uh, he'll tell you all about his beloved Cleavor, whether you wish for him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up for the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Wow. He just said his piece and then vanished. He must just value his time that much. I get that's his thing, right? Ottoman and my went wrong, you know. If you're ready to study... If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleavor, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Now we've got the Heights Camp. Uh, we, it should come in handy for getting to the Grand Tree Arena. And don't forget to visit the pastures. Choosing your Pokemon team carefully makes a difference. Okay, bye, every Bye. Bye, everybody. I gotta solve a Drifloon issue. Do I agree the professor's mustache is fake and he drew it on with Sharpie? Is goatee? No, that's hair. That's hair. That's hair. Sorry, bro. Those kids are dead by now. We just talked too long. Finding yourself unable to pick up materials you come across? Satchel always seeming foe? That sounds like you. Well, it'd be wise to lend me your ear for a moment. Head on over here what I have to say. I like this guy. You carry around even more than that satchel of yours if you learn to trick and pack things in. I can teach you if you like. What do you say? Teach me. I like your initiative. My teaching fee is a neat 100 polka dollars, all right? Okay, that's it. He, he, keeps this, he starts this early. Perfect, then let me go here for a moment. Yeah, next one won't be that cheap. And that's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit in packing things rightly. So if you want more, you want to be able to carry even more things, there's more I could teach you. What do you say? You got more money? <laughs> Okay. All right. And that's all there is to it. You got more money? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I need this chat. I need the space. This guy's nasty. This is a trick. Ooh, 1,000. It's climbing. It's climbing. Okay. Okay. One more. One more. Uno mas. Uno mas. Uno mas. Uno mas. Uno mas. Uno mas. Here we go. 
And that's all there is too. <laughs> okay. All right. I just spent a lot of money. There we go, chat. Let's check our inventory. Nope. Uh, there. Man. That was so much money and there's barely any more space. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. He's clearing space by taking money. <laughs> No, we gotta do this one side quest before we can end the stream. I'm not gonna let those kids get carried away by those drip blooms. You there. You seem like somebody who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me out with something? Oh, I'd be very grateful if you could craft something as with using a special recipe I came up with. So without further ado, here's the recipe. Pokeshi doll. Three logs of wood. Oh, I couldn't carry logs. I'll make it happen. Yeah, I'll make it. I'll make that for you. I'll make you a Pokeshi doll. Is this going to be a weekly stream or of the game, or you decided against it? I'm definitely streaming it. Kids? Oh, there we go. That was so weird. Is Miki a ghost? I'm definitely streaming it next Friday. Right? Like I feel like I feel like Horizon is like three weeks away. I think we got time. I think we can play this for a few weeks. So you've accepted my request to look into the Trifloon? Huh. I can't tell you what a big help that is. Let me fill you in. We've heard reports that a Trifloon was playing with one of the village children over on Prelude Beach in the evenings. This seemed like odd behavior for a Pokemon, so all of us in the security corps worried its true intentions were to harm the child in some way. Thankfully, all the village children were safe and accounted for when we went to check on them. But there was one curious thing. None of them seem to know anything about a drift loon. But, well, so many people from the village have reported seeing the Pokemon, we simply can't pretend that there isn't an issue here. The kids won't snitch is what's happening. Since this calls for some investigation, I thought the Survey Corps would be our best bet. We need you to find out the truth behind the drift loon and the child it's been playing with. Okay. They were replaced with copies. <laughs> Too dark. So we got to go to the beach? Where do we go? At nighttime? What do you think? Best to get the Drifloon playing with a child at Prelude Beach in the evening. Yep, 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 yep. So we'll just go take a big old nap. I wonder what time it is right now. Does the map say? Kinda. It looks like the sun is setting. That was cool. Okay. I'm coming, kids. I'm coming. Stantler's ready. I wonder if I'll be able to ride the Stantler I evolve on my own. Or if it's like a story moment 
where the weird deer has to allow you to ride it. Yeah, I think it's cool that we're actually going back to this intro area. That it's not blocked off forever and that they found something else to do with it. Yet? You alright? Survey court lady! Over here! Hey, um... I want to go home now. But Drifloon won't let me go. Oh my god. Let him go. Let him go. Can you help me? Please? And do. Group. <laughs> Whoa. What do we do? What happened during that GURP? No, I can finally go home. But, um, Drifloon didn't mean to be bad. It always played together with me. It's real friendly. So, I kept it a secret from everyone. Oh, my name's Taki. See you around, Survey Core Lady. We're not done here. A simple GURP doesn't solve anything. I hear noises out here, dude. I wonder if they really are just sound effects. How you doing, Buizel? This is my Buizel. You know what? It seems to be doing well. How does it compare to the open area in Sword and Shield? It's so much better. It's so much more interesting and dynamic than the Sword and Shield open area. It's wild. So you've been looking into that worrisome drift loon for us. What do you found out? bad. I see. So little Taki was trying to keep Drifloon from getting in trouble. All the same, he was in considerable danger. Without your help, goodness knows where Drifloon could have taken him by now. Oh my god. I'd be remiss if I didn't follow up on this troubling incident. I'll urge Captain Zisu to post extra security corps guards around Prelude Beach at once. For now, I'm thankful that the situation resolved without any harm. This is not over. That's not over. Wait till you see Drift Blim. I guess that's over. This game has tiny teeth. Yeah. Yeah, at least they're acknowledging that that balloon absolutely could have killed that child. Clothes shopping crunch? Okay. I want to see if anything gets added to the whiteboard. Nothing. Okay. Buy an item slot? Okay. What, hey, if we're in town, mod as well. Oh, God, that's so expensive. Is it Twitch or does the game have a weird FPS? It does have a weird FPS. But I'm not saying it's not Twitch either. It's not silky smooth performance. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll do uh, some clothes shopping. Oh yeah, she said she got some new stuff in stock. Okay, if it was attached to the head, I would say yes, but a little floating Bidoof mask is not going to cut it. I really like this, by the way. But I think we would need an outfit that suits it better. Kind of like this, too, but once again, it's just too big. It's just too big. Shoot, it's kind of nice.
We'll think about it. The Cyndaquil one is cool, huh? Dang. Pokemon kimono. Why is it called a Pokemon kimono? I guess they're my types. Oh, they are. Okay, I got it, got it, got it. So if I love bug types, I'm wearing that kimono. Got it. Do not care for the fancy trousers. Fancy bottoms. Okay, no new outfits. New sandals, maybe? <laughs> Those are fancy. We need footwear. We need footwear. We can't go off exploring these environments and stuff like this. I gotta stick with our current footwear. Yeah, so if anything, I think it might be a he headkerchief. But I'm cool with a bandana. Nothing I really gotta upgrade over. No fox mask? No fox mask. I mean, we have it, but I'm not going to put it on. You're blocking your head. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, chat. Fancy kimono changes based off your starter. Yours is a Rowlet one. That is really cool. What a game, man. I'm stoked to come back and play more of this next Friday. I can't believe this. This game, this game rules. This game will happily take your hours. I'm super impressed by everything they rethought. By everything they kept, but also like everything they're just like, let's just try something new with that. And seemingly like what was learned from Monster Hunter and also to me, like some like brand new ideas that I think are pretty cool narratively. Not the two teams, not counting them, not counting the time space travel chunk of this. The game could work without it. <laughs> the game could have worked if we just grew up here. I was scouting the hardwood for crops we could grow in the fields here when I saw it. This Pokemon called Cherub changed its appearance before my very eyes. It was in the evening. The light was getting dim. All of a sudden, Cherub's petals closed right up, and so it looked like nothing but a little flower bud. Well, I thought, I just witnessed the miracle of evolution. But the next morning, when I went to check in on that Cherub, it was right back to full bloom. But why would it bloom just to close back up? Is that how evolution works? Or or was the change I saw something different? When you finish Cherub's Pokedex entry, let, let, let me take a look, would you? <laughs> yeah, I love this game. <laughs> I uh, I really like this game a lot. Yeah, that's what it seems like they modernized the design in a bunch of new ways. <laughs> this guy was so excited he thought he witnessed the miracle of evolution. <laughs> and he just saw a dumb cherum close its buds. Cool, man. All right, let's take a quick save, which I think we do here. Save your progress. Yes! Yabba dabba! Oh! That was a fun stream. Don Raid? Heck yeah. Is he playing Jurassic Park again? I gotta say, uh, I watched a bit Last Friday, I watched a bit of Dawn, and um, that's a fun stream. Dawn's a natural streamer.
It's a, yeah, it's, it's fun to watch Don play Jurassic Park. I was getting into it. I think he demonstrates the game's mechanics well and kind of, you kind of get invested in the game along with him. Did you ever watch any Don vs. Wave Race? Yeah. Don vs. Wave Race is really good because it had goals, right? But it was not as chill as Don playing Jurassic Park. This is a whole other level. We keep telling him he should stream more. Yeah, I agree. Big time. Uh, chat, thanks so much for hanging out for today's stream. That was a fast one, brother. This is the kind of game I feel like I could go eight more hours on right now. <laughs> like, this was really good. I can't believe it, man. It just won me over so fast. This was really good. Let's do it. <laughs> no, we're streaming tomorrow. We'll be streaming within eight hours, right? Uh... Not quite, no. Um, tomorrow at 4 p.m. I'll be playing It Takes Two with Michael Damiani. Uh, that's going to be a really fun stream, too. Um, neither of us have played it yet, so happy to finally give that game a shot. Find time for it. Event stream. <laughs> it's funny, Tremonius I don't think has really earned an emote. Tremonius hasn't been that clutch. It's it's uh, I really like the way this game is designed battle wise. Basically, all the Pokemon we have have had like battles they've won, you know. <laughs> Maybe one for Mimi, yeah, but Mimi will hopefully evolve soon. A midstream baseball break to introduce Damiani to de degenerate baseball. There won't be time. He's and he's not gonna like it. He's not gonna like it. We shouldn't do that. We don't need to expose him to degenerate baseball. I guess I'll buy this. I mean, I get it. I would like, you know what I mean? I was making fun of chat for buying Diamond and Pearl, but like this game is like legitimately good. A legitimate joy to play. And yeah, so like, the way the stream works tomorrow is Damiani will be, you know, on his coast playing on his PS5. So it's not like we would be able to... He'd have to, like... I'd have to, like, screen share with him to play baseball with us. That would be different. But, like, it takes two. You know, we're all playing... We're both playing on, on our own stuff. What do you think that up arrow... It's on everybody. Oh, so it, it, it means experience points till next level. And I think they just found a nice way to indicate that. Show them Light Tracer 2 then. We're all done. We're all done with Light Tracer 2. Unless I want the Platinum. But they did text for HP. Yeah, so it's like... The problem is, if it just said EXP, it would be like, what, that's my total EXP? Because that number actually goes down, you know? So I kind of get... The, the arrow is kind of elegant, actually. Yeah, I'm honestly super impressed with these menus, too. This is a good game. I think, I think even if you haven't played Pokemon before, you might be into this. Is this game the one we've been waiting for? Not quite... But yes, it's way better than I thought it would be. Not quite, but yes. It's a big step. Yeah. Cloth farming stream. Yeah, we need cloth if we're going to get platinum light tracer too. What if we merge this with a traditional 8 gym game? Would that be it? Yeah, so like, okay. Remember I was criticizing this game for a long time. I said they picked... Uh, uh, ancient time. Turns out not that ancient. They picked, you know, a pre-populated time. Pre-industrial. Uh, so that they wouldn't have to populate the world as much. So they wouldn't have to put that much in the open environment. Which is still true. But what I like a lot about what they've done is they're using the time period so well. I love this time of people being confused and enamored and afraid of Pokemon. Story-wise. They're utilizing that so well. Uh, so I think that's cool. 
I think they're they're absorbing this limitation, right? And then using it to make a like a more interesting story to tell. Really respect this game. This is good stuff. My hope has been that this game sells really well, and then they make a really good open world game. Yep. Yeah. Because, yeah, obviously I'd still like to, like, explore out into, like, there's going to be a city there, but then also there's these risky places to go this way, but then there's also these chill other towns that you can go to. Yeah, because I, I get that. There's, we're maybe going to get sick of this one town by the end of the game. We'll see. Um... But, uh, first eight hours, this game, this game rules. What do I think a DLC could be for this? Probably one new map the size of the map that we played through today. I don't feel like they would go harder than that. It'd be cool if it's like, this is another region, but I feel like they should save other regions for, uh, sequels. The target I went to today was sold out of this game. That's good to hear. <laughs> That's good to hear. I'm hoping these Bidoof mean new buildings will pop up. No question. Yeah, the Bidoof are actually like hanging around town and help. Oh my God. It actually like breaks my heart. It's too sweet. It's actually too sweet that Pokemon are now going to hang around this town and they're going to become more and more used to them. I was about to say I grabbed the last copy at Target. Target sold out of Octopath when it came to my city. <laughs> so this sold... Okay, so you're saying baseline, this game sells as well as Octopath Traveler. Yeah, man, that's a fun stream. Cool. All right, chat. Hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, we're going to raid Don next. Um, thanks so much for hanging out today, for helping me out uh, in this game, in the ways that you do, but also just for hanging out. Just a super chill stream. The, this is like, you know where you talk about like games where it's like, it just feels good when like Kyle's having a good time? This, I mean, I'm having a great time with this one. <laughs> this, this is a pleasure. Solid pleasure. Fun to share it with you. Cool. And then, yeah. Hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, bye, everybody. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party.